to welcome everybody to the hard hitting journalistic uh funny relevant important transcending podcast in the world <laughs> we're not just doing goofs here it's actually so much more and that's the h3 podcast welcome to it thank you guys for being here thank you to our sponsor express vpn who we love Ah oh, yes, it's off the rails. You know what that means. We are the world. And I always say that. And thank you to Anuk, who... Any progress on that, Zach? Uh, getting Anuk? You're the one that reached out to him, right? I believe that uh, may have been Olivia. Um, oh, shoot. yeah. She's downstairs helping with the photo shoot right now. Okay. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? Great. <clears throat> Good. You know, I, I actually did something yesterday. I met my friend at Top Golf. Have Whoa. any of you guys been there? I know of it. I've never been to one. It's, it's like a driving range, right? It's crazy. It's like a it's like a massive three-story driving range. Mm -hmm. And right. then you can eat and drink there. They serve you. Yeah. But then they've got this crazy tech where they can track the ball, show you your exact shot. Nice. I don't know how they do that. I just hit my balls. But it, it, it it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's like super futuristic there. Um so I actually did something yesterday, which felt weird. That's crazy. Did you enjoy yourself? Did you have fun? Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. Okay. The fact that you went out and hung out with somebody is crazier than yeah. the ball technology. <clears throat> yeah, he's my buddy from college. I mean, we, we're, we're friends. He's one of my few, like, f actual, like, you know, <sighs> friends. <laughs> that sounded sad. That sounded so sad. <laughs> it's not that sad. It's not that sad. <laughs> I have friends. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny because I haven't really gone out in a while, especially by myself. So I walk in there and it's just so weird. It's a little weird, the place as it is. Like, because everything's automated there. There's no, like, reception. You check in with your phone. And I didn't know any of this. So I'm like, what do I do? I go up to the second one. I see everyone's golfing, but there's no there's no one to talk to. There's no information. Wow. So I had to pull down one of the waiters who who knew who I was. I said, well, "How do I do this?" That's what I asked him. <laughs> he said, "Go downstairs. Uh, there's a little desk there." Went downstairs to the desk. They said, "What's your phone number?" Lena made the reservation for me, so I says, can I give you a different phone number? They said, no, you cannot. You, I need that original phone number. I said, really? They're like, we need to check you in. I said, I'm here. Here I am. It's me. <laughs> so I get Lena's phone number. They send Lena a message to confirm. You know? And then I had wanted to add my buddy to the account. Well, guess what? They had to send him a text, too. It's me. To add him to the game. You know what I mean? This is why you never go out. Hey, hey. That's the game. You know, and so eventually we get up. I think the reason they make you sign in with your phone is because you need to sign a, uh, like a liability release because it's fucking dangerous there. People are drinking, hitting balls all crazy. You know, sometimes you hit a golf ball and it goes like, it goes like parallel to you somehow. <laughs> like you're hitting okay. it out, but it goes yeah. totally sideways. Right. That's scary. <laughs> and the people around there, like, nobody there really knows how to golf. And there's dudes who are just like, they're hitting it like it's all on the line. Hmm. <laughs> and it's just out, it's just flagrant and outrageous. And everybody's drunk. Feels dangerous. And then we drank beer right at the edge, because you're really high up. There's three stories. We were on the second story. 
the edge is just a full on drop down. Oh, with, there's like a little it. net. Right. And then a full on drop down to the driving green. <laughs> with a bunch of drunk, rowdy people. And so, yeah, I was thinking, man, this someone probably falls into that net every day. Top golf. Injury, top. That's what I'm saying. Golf. Someone, I bet someone's died there. No, sh no joke. Lawsuits against Top Golf for preventable injuries. Hmm. And it's not a lot. So Top Golf facing lawsuits after widespread injuries to customers. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, and it's not a lot. Like here, here you can see. So it's like all these stalls. It's almost like a bowling alley in the way that they that's, set it up. That's how it's been described to me. Yeah. And it is very fun. It like the, fun. I, I kind of want to go do it. Yeah. The concept is great. And actually the execution is great. But it's like one of those things like that we can't have good, we can't have nice things anymore. Right. Oh, fun. shit. AB just shared something. I mean, is this okay to show? Yeah. He didn't get like seriously injured here? Nah, he's, he's chilling. <laughs> oh, wait, I want to see this. I'm in Dynasty. So here's <laughs> someone falling off. <laughs> but here you guys can see if you show this picture. It's a small net. It's not a big net. Yeah. They don't got them, them Foxconn. And people are trashed, net. trashed, and swinging hard, bro. Like, these guys think that they will never get laid again yeah. if they don't hit that ball as oh, hard yeah. as they can. And they're right. They're right about that. Well, they're usually just hitting the ground really hard and missing the ball completely. Here's a video of someone dropping in. This is awesome. This is awesome. A trip he took to Top Golf. Ooh, okay, so check out what happened after he took a big swing from the upper deck. The man tried to focus on the ball, but completely misses it right here. That didn't stop him from celebrating as if he did hit the ball and then pointing in the distance to oh! the There it goes. He oh. takes one too many steps oh. off Good to the see platform it. and Good into the netting. Work. The net works. The net works. That looked like a heavier He's gentleman. Having a lot of also, still smiling. And still smiling. Having a great time. He's drunk as shit. That man literally <laughs> just walked right off the edge. And, but that's it. That's the vibe. It's kind of cool. I, have, have a good you night. Know. You're going to be a top golf guy now? Going I'll go back there. Yeah, Sign for up sure. for membership? I'll go back there. Have, have a good night. I love top golf. We're top golf fans. Oh, you guys do it. One of our like first dates was at Top Golf. That's yeah. a good date spot. It is. Yeah. Mm. It's like the the bowling alley. People think is a good date spot. It's way too loud there. Top Golf. You can talk. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. It's it, not super loud. Yeah. yeah, mine and one of mine and Lena's first dates was at a bowling alley, and it was so fucking awkward. I don't know why. Yeah, probably you're right. Probably it's too loud. It, it's a horrible first date. You think it would be good, but it's actually one of the worst first date locations. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking loud. So your first date was wasn't good with Lena. I mean, it, it was sweet, but just like it was, I, we both sucked at golf, so it was just gutter ball after gutter ball. Too, we couldn't hear each other. Wait, did you say bowling or top golf? You mean you mean bowling? Bowling. When I say golf, you yeah, say bowling. Golf, yeah, yeah the different things actually. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Lena, what what did your memory of it? Mm, yeah, just that we both sucked at it, and then we got ice cream after. But it was nice. It wasn't. I don't remember it being like super awkward. Either. AB says it was devastating. You yeah, didn't see it that it, way. <laughs> Did you feel like you were blowing it, AB? Uh, yeah, sort of. I felt a little awkward because for so long I didn't really like go out for dates. Like every time I hung out with the girls, kind of we're just like chilling at the house or something. So mm -hmm. it was it was weird. Donkey Kong, Bongo, and chill. <laughs> yeah. It was around that time, shortly after. <laughs> the rest is history, I'd say. Yeah. So. I think it'd be fun as a company event if we all go to Top Golf. Just Let's get, fucking yeah, do just it. Drink. Sounds great. The only thing is, the only one that's close to us is kind of far away. That's why I haven't gone because somebody suggested I go, and I saw I was with traffic going to be like forty an minutes, half or something. Forty minutes with traffic. Actually, it was only twenty minutes. We went at nine o'clock. It was only twenty minute drive, mm -hmm. but it's like a little too far to Uber. Right. So then, here's another. But thing. But then you want <clears throat> to drink, so yeah. here, here's another thing. You look at this parking lot, Top Go parking. There is a lot of cars there. Everybody there's drinking. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not understanding the math here. Yeah. Yeah, that does sound questionable. Who the fuck there's just mass drunk driving going on at Top Golf. It's in uh What's that place called? I'll look it up. It has a funny it's name. LA, right? I'm drunk. Oh my god, it's windy. What the hell? Building's about to collapse. Alfredo's scared. It's okay, Alfredo. 
El Segundo. El Segundo, baby. How the fuck are you not drunk? But look at but look at this. It looks so futuristic. You can see it from like a mile away. You know what it looks like? It looks like the fucking dude perfect uh no, oh, yeah. headquarters. Oh true. <laughs> the dude perfect compound. Sorry, the dogs are scared from the wind. They're inspo. So anyway, that was it. So yeah, let's go let's go uh drink responsibly at Top Golf. Thank you, thank you to everybody. Yeah. So there's been a little bit of drama. Drama, as the Australians say. Drama. First of all, our thumbnail Dahmer's. comes courtesy of Joe Bagan Reddit. <laughs> Bagan? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Either Bagan, Bagan? Yes, John. It, our it's friend a, John here came up with a banger uh, thumbnail. You know what's funny? This might sound facetious to you, but I learned yesterday after looking more into this, uh, Marx claims that he can overcome Tourette's. He's very careful not to say cure. Right. But he now says he can do it in four hours, which is kind of on the Mr. Beast level of fixing the eyes. Right. Have, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God. So, <laughs> so that was exciting. Here's some great memes of uh, the aftermath. Here it is. It was quite a big moment, I think, for the show. I, I felt that it was a nice moment. Here is another one bites the dust. Here's Carlos before and after. Right. Here, here's Crowder before and after. <laughs> oh, no. And, Car and uh, Mark before and after yeah i do i have that effect on people you know what i'm starting to really think do. bobby lee was right about you you're the gotcha guy is that what he said about you he did say i'm the <laughs> gotcha guy but i'm not the gotcha guy no nah. i've been a gotcha guy gotcha clearly but i didn't feel like i was i guess with him maybe it was a gotcha but was never my intention yeah I think with all- Is it really a gotcha? You're here talking about yourself. No, I think you just slam dunk in these moments. Yeah, it's, it's not really a gotcha. It's impressive to watch. Jeff was a gotcha. That was the one time with Jeff Wittick with the picture. That was a gotcha. Gotcha hat. Was, gotcha hat. That was a gotcha. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mark responded on Twitter. By the way, I talked a lot about this and did some real- Interesting background research yesterday on See You Next Tuesday the, with that, our podcast for members, mm -hmm. and it was fun. It actually derailed when when uh, podcast with Ethan Philip DeFranco accused me of fat shaming him, which I'll talk about after this. But Ethan making people's day. I mean, yeah, this if you do it backwards, Aww, this is man. how we see you. Wow. <laughs> Look, you know what. This is really nice. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is so nice. Look how happy they are in the end. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's wholesome. That's that so is wholesome. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not real. Uh, Mark Elliott, he is in damage control. He says, I, yes, I fell into a trap going on the H3 podcast. I don't know if it's an... It was not really a trap. It's like he walked into the ocean. <laughs> he slowly walked into the ocean. Yeah. And it like, never came out. It's not really a trap. There was at no all. trap. Yeah. Like we, well, I mean, he it wasn't. He trapped it, yeah, himself. It was. He yeah. trapped himself. He walked into our, he walked in. <laughs> we never misled him at all. He walked in and we said, yes, come on the show. Uh, yeah. I, at the beginning of the interview, you misled him by saying, like, you, were a supporter or whatever. Um, but that that was after he was already here. He had every opportunity to know beforehand what, what he was signing up Never, for. Never, ever, ever do it. Yeah, and none of, none of our communication prior to the show did we give any indication that we believed a word that he was saying. Or... I'm actually really proud of how we handled the communication. Yeah. Because I do think it was important that we did not uh, deceive him at all. And we did it. So he said, yes, I fell into a trap going on the HP podcast. Thanks for the tag. 
At the end, though, Ethan was afraid to play the video of digital forensic experts talking about the evidence tampering in the U.S. versus Ranieri, as it might be too compelling. He ended up playing it, but couldn't resist mocking it. So here he is talking about how he actually had the dub. So last night I went on the H3 podcast with Ethan Klein, and boy, did I walk into the trap of my life. Ethan called me out in the beginning. He said, you did not do your research. And no, Ethan, I did not do enough research about Ethan Klein, sir. So you definitely got me there. Okay. All right, let's wrap it up. Fair enough. I don't think we need to watch anymore. Wait, he's about to maneuver. The whole thing, they were basically playing me. You know, he was pretending to agree with me about this, these egregious, you know, crimes that, that uh, the, the government committed in the case of U.S. versus Ranieri, when in the, in, the, in the end, it didn't seem that he agreed with my position with anything. You know, they mocked me. They had ad hominem attacks, all this. Ad hominem? I didn't do that, did I? What's ad hominem? Well, like it's when I attack him instead of his argument. Yeah. I didn't do that. I've never no. heard that phrase. I never really. insulted him. I feel like everyone on that side. Of that, the, that is one yeah, of their favorite that's phrases. Their favorite, fresh and fit. At home, they at say home. that every argument, fresh and fit. Says yeah. That. I feel like I feel like we were very, very on point with our argument. Key argument. Yeah. We were engaging fully. Is it ad hominem? Is that it? Yeah. Ad hominem. <sighs> pro hoc. Ad hominem. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, I don't know what pro hoc is. I just know it's another fallacy. <laughs> Attacking the person. This fallacy occurs when instead of addressing someone's argument or position, you irrelevantly attack the person or some aspects of the person who is making the argument. For example, would be someone saying, I'm fat and my wife is ugly, instead of addressing the fact that I, of what I said about. Them. Correct. Yeah. 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 That's a great example. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the receiving of it, end of it all the time, actually, in fact. This sort of stuff. Um, even at one point, they were claiming that I was making up my, you know, living with Tourette's for 20 years. It was incredible. But despite, you know, the craziness of the whole thing, what was amazing is that at the end, I asked Ethan to play the YouTube video showing the digital forensic experts talking about how the government uh, tampered with evidence in the case of U.S. versus Ranieri. And even with all the disagreements we had on that call, the one thing he agreed with is that he was afraid to play it because he thought it was too compelling. I think you said it was boring. It was too boring. <laughs> well, that I did said both. Yeah, no, I think you did say that at some point. I was, was jokingly, he said, why yeah, won't was, you play it? Ironic. Actually, do you have the, this man really that fucking dense, bro? No, no. He, uh, he's, Is he being He's doing facetious? what, of course he's doing. He's, he's twisting it and, you know, putting his spin on it. But that's not and even I, like, okay, hold on. Yeah. Where's the timestamp where that occurred? Uh, it would be right near the end. Oh Those. my god. Bro, that's crazy. I mean, we were excited to pull it up because it's really fucking funny that Alan Dershowitz is in it. So, that's not really true that we didn't want to show it at all. <clears throat> also, one of the guys in it is like, at the FBI guy's like an election fraud freak who's... Was it all in like Dominion voting? Yeah, I mean that that was my assumption too. Is like whenever you hear weirdos. that kind of thing, there's a bunch of weirdos. Dude. I, I watched the whole video prior uh, when I was doing the research on it, and yeah, my my impression was well, first of all, uh, a lot of the people in the video, their statements are kind of like phrased in such a way that it's kind of vague, almost as if they're responding to a hypothetical. That's what I noticed when we were watching it. They yeah. were speaking like totally. Yeah. No, I I think specific. I think. I, I suspect it was po- the question was posed in such a way like if the FBI were to have found to have falsified this metadata or whatever, would that be an egregious, you know, infraction on his civil rights? And they're like, yeah, if that, yeah, that would be a huge infraction. And then boom, that's your soundbite right there. Look how old and weird they all are. It's like a collection of just old, weird people. A bunch of pedo defenders. All right. So, listen. We put poor um, Mark through the ringer. And I do feel like after everything we've been through, I do owe it to him to at least play this video so he can at least not accuse me of uh, being thinking that it's too compelling or something. So here it is, guys. I'm just going to play it. It's only two minutes long. 
And uh, let's just listen to what they have to say. Experts versus Keith Ranieri. I worked in the FBI for about 10 years. It is clear that the photos in this case were planted there. This is the most serious tampering of evidence that I've ever seen. It's inescapable that the FBI proactively created fake evidence. Okay, that is interesting. The of technical ability and premeditation to perform this fraud in the case against Mr. Ramirez. I've never seen anything like that. In my 20 years experience with the FBI, I have never seen. Okay, we need to look up this guy's real because he, he does make a good point here. This guy was a former Supreme Court Justice of Arkansas, but he is credible. Wow, I know that is an impressive uh, This dude's from the Exonerated Five. Oh, this guy was an attorney for Keith Rainier. Well, that's a little, a little biased. A little biased. Out the Darius, of course, who we talked about. Who else did he represent? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the Epstein one. Based on manipulation of data, that's just. He's really going on and on, too. Oh, uh, he's not the most compelling. This guy's name is Bud Cummings, so that kind of just blew up like this. That's one. Imagine being an elementary school, the name Bud Cummings. But he was a United States attorney. Yeah, he had a lot to prove with that name. Yeah, I was going to say, if anything, they put him in the world. They can't really want United States attorney general to point. He does have good, he, he's compelling. Yeah. There must be a count. People have to be criminally fixed. Very serious. Okay, so, so there, I, yeah. I think that just cured my Tourette's. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, we played the whole thing uninterrupted. I will say that there was some good points, some some it's compelling stuff. So I encourage people to look into it, follow the threads, and they'll. I got my sign up for Nexium. <laughs> right, it's kind of sounding pretty good. <laughs> have a, have a good night. <laughs> so last night I went on the H three. Oh fuck! What a weirdo that he said. I admitted. Did you find that? Yeah, watch this timestamp. This is where he says that I had to admit that it was too compelling. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't it. Is it before this? Sorry, I misunderstood with that timestamp. Two minutes. I'd be, oh, I'd be he, grateful he, if you play that at least. He's an advocate. Okay, cool. Yeah. This well, here, if, I, if you can find the timestamp, I'll open it, but it's going to be a little messy to search live. But, you know, um,. That was fun, you know? Have a, have a good night. You, uh, you as well. <laughs> you know, we talked about how he was on Theo Vaughn's podcast. And um, on our members podcast I did yesterday, I was trying to find some interesting material. I was watching them speak. 
And this part stuck out to me. I thought this was really interesting. We've been able to replicate with 10 other people with mm. Tourette's. Get into the program and get better. Yes. Wow. Well, we created a, a special thing just for people with Tourette's. And this is the crazy thing. So it took me like a year and a half to get down 90% as I was describing. Guess how fast it's been replicated. I would say, I hate when they do this, bro. He's not your fucking pony. To... He makes some guess. He plays along. I don't know. Take one guess. He, he says, you have to guess. <laughs> he doesn't want to guess. Nobody likes the know. guessing game because it's either too high or too low and it takes the He's fun like, out of it. He's like, oh, you idiot. You guessed wrong. You fucking moron. You rube. Yeah, you were way off, idiot. <laughs> way off, Way dumbass. over. You ruined it. <laughs> they go, how much? guess how much this cost? I don't know, $1,000. <laughs> Bro, you, you ruined wrong. it. Only 200 <laughs> You are wrong. It's even, you know, it's rough when it's something that's impossible as well. He has no <laughs> idea. How is Theo Vaughn going to know how, <laughs> right. how, how long it took your dumbass to cure Tourette's? <laughs> well, here it is. Seven. <clears throat> Seven. Seven what? He's doing a joke, bro. Just please. He's trying to salvage your boring ass. Don't make me pull up Subway Surfer. Seven days a week. I don't know. <laughs> like seven months? Yeah, I think so. Four hours. Oh, wow. Jesus, man. I hate this. Oh, wow. <laughs> People can get rid of using this, can get rid oh, of man. Tourette's in four hours. Oh, nah. No, they can't. They really? <laughs> no. So... He's so funny. I love him. <laughs> it's not by him. He's being really amicable this whole time, but even that claim made Theo Von be like, yeah, what? He's yeah. like, what? <clears throat> so if you <clears throat> if you were wondering <clears throat> if this guy's a scam artist or not, he just said he can cure people's Tourette's in four hours. Kid you not, it was probably one <laughs> of That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. Oh, so this, man. so I want to be really clear. It's not saying anybody can get rid of their Tourette syndrome. It's okay. saying people that had severe Tourette syndrome that had tried tons of different things that wanted, that deeply wanted to get rid of it and end it for them. This to me is so obscene how he's like, it only works for people that want to get rid of it. Right. It's like who the fuck wants Tourette's? <laughs> You didn't really want to get rid of it. It's not happening for you. You gotta want it. <clears throat> you know, that, I'm cool walking around screaming the N word on buses. <laughs> it's happening. Right. Um, what the one piece of information that didn't come up during the interview that uh, I wish had was one of the victim impact statements. Here, I'll send it to you right now. Um, actually, was from a victim that went through the Tourette's program. Ooh. Yeah, and described it as being like <clears throat> just horribly abusive. And, Ooh. Yeah, here. Um, oh, wait. Oh, man. You this think he'll a... come back on? <laughs> Email him. Say, hey, you want to hop on? Do it. No. He's not coming back. <clears throat> he might. He's desperate for any attention. Have, have a good night. Here's, what, here's one of the victim impact statements. When I was told I was a candidate for participating in Nexum's Tourette study, I believed it was a legitimate medical study, and I was hopeful that this study would help my Tourette's four hours. Clearly, you did not want it at Yeah, all. they didn't want it. That was their problem. <clears throat> they have a victim uh, mentality. I love fucking shaking my head so hard that I have headaches, migraines. <laughs> right. But I didn't want it enough. You know? I literally giving myself, because I do this shit with my wrists, I'm literally giving myself carpal tunnel. Ooh. That's... And it does suck. My fucking, uh, my nerves, if I pick something up weird, it's like so painful. Ooh. This is happening. That sucks. Just give me four hours, Mark, please, bro. I want it. In fact, there was no medical screening in advance of participation, and I was given no information about the study or its risk. No one informed me that the study, in fact, required me to take ESP, executive, that's their bullshit. That's their program, yeah. <clears throat> Intensives. I had no clue that I was going to be required to take extens expensive intensives that went from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or th that's crazy. What or that, that as a result, I would be obligated to Claire Brofman. Is that was that the other? Girl that's that the 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 Seagram's uh, heiress person, I believe. Oh, Claire Brofman. Let me confirm that. 
Yeah, that was like heavily featured in the Bow documentary. I felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders because I needed to overcome my threats in order to prove that this treatment worked. I had to urge, I had to resist the urge to tick at all costs, which is exactly what he said it wasn't. Because I was so afraid to tick and mess up the study, which they told me would also mess up a cure for Tourette's and potentially other medical conditions that Nexium wanted to cure. On two occasions while I was in Albany, Nancy and Mark threatened, oh, we're talking about Mark now. They threatened to send me home. They each mentioned that if I don't start acting better and trying harder, I will have wasted thousands of dollars of Claire's money that she had spent on me and their medical experiment. It was scary, but I couldn't show that because showing fear means something is wrong and I need to be fixed. The study these people did did nothing for me except ruin my self-esteem, ruin my mental health, and made me hate myself. It did not cure my Tourette's in any way. What? They just didn't want it enough. That can't be. You they were just didn't want it coward. Enough. Try harder. <clears throat> I love that actually Mark got brought into this. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I read through it and somehow my eyes just skipped right over the fact that that's Mark. Yeah, Mark's in this. He, I'm t this guy's actually pretty high up, I feel like. He's like very mm -hmm. high up involved with all these folks. Right. Have, have a good night. Have a good night. Oh, well, what a piece of shit. Damn. Himself. I really do wish we had that, but okay, we have it now. It was in there, but and it was just, also, it, the you know, whole we, thing was so freeform. It just it, it was very dense, all the yeah. stuff we had, too. Yeah. There was just so much. We went through quite an interview process because we're looking, you know, we were looking for very specific people that, you know, we thought just met a bunch of different conditions that mm -hmm. thought, you know, that they would be a good candidate for this. For all of those people, I would say seven, seven or eight Two or three out of the ten are down seventy percent. Wow! And the other six, seven are down ninety plus. Wow! And what was so neat is is that once this started, so neat. It's real interesting to think after reading that victim impact statement that they were just like torturing these people. Yep. <laughs> and like scaring them and brainwashing them that they can't tick or they're fucking gonna be buried alive or something. I don't know. Started happening over the last uh, four years. Uh, we had this incredible filmmaker who uh, he goes, "We got to start filming this." So we started to film it. And so what was so neat is is that you know stop I, saying neat, bro. It's creeping me out. I would find someone with Tourette's, or someone would tell me about somebody with Tourette's. Yeah, and we would go through this whole process to see if they would be a good candidate. And then once we thought if we had you know a good candidate, a film crew would go out to their life, film their whole life with Tourette's. They would come work with us in Albany, mm -hmm. beat their Tourette's, and then we would go back into their life and film their life without Tourette's syndrome. Dude, he's full-time in Albany. That was their main headquarters. There's this one point, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but he goes, it's like fat people. They have to really want to lose the weight. Tourette's is the same way. I says, how's that the same? It's a neurological disorder. You could cure, it's like saying you could cure autism if people really want it. You could cure Down syndrome if people really want it. It's like, bro, they're, they're, they're not, it's not fat. It's your fucking brain. Yeah, free my boys, by the way. Mark, I'm with you, brother. Free them all. Mm -hmm. Free Keith. Here's the here's the exact timestamp of from the beginning. It's only I'm, a I'm afraid that it's compelling. Frankly, I don't want. No, I'll, I will play it. I'll play it. I'll play it. So the it's obvious, so obviously a goof. You can see the fear in your eyes, dude. I, w I said it because I know that's what he was thinking. He was like, this is so compelling that it's going to change everything. Two minutes. I'd be, oh, I'd be he, grateful he, if you play that at least. He's an advocate. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is this alleged FBI malfeasance? Yeah. It's awesome. Um, so I guess probably don't watch this it's two hours. Uh, but actually Theo Vaughn has since talked about him being a Nexium scammer. So he's, yeah, this was like five years ago, man, 2018. So Jesus Christ, gun squad. Just trying to get Jesus. 
Very inspiring to have a man who beat Tourette's and a man who beat Down syndrome in the same room talking. Anything is possible. I was just curious what people's reception was. This is a great podcast. I never heard of Mark before, but I started digging and learning about ESP program he cited. Okay, the ESP was run by Keith Ranieri, who was arrested for child trafficking. Whoops. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Um, there's more stuff here. Uh, we got to do a break, and we have a call in 10 minutes from a very special guest. We do? Yeah. Oh, fuck. That is a special guest. <laughs> um, by the way, I just want to show a few more things here. Uh, here is, this is the guy who made the documentary, who was like the main guy behind the vow. He, he saw it. He says, I just watched it. Genius. Thank you, Mark. The good Mark. It <clears throat> takes one to know one. The good Mark. The good Mark. Light side Mark. <laughs> um, Ranieri's spokesperson, Eduardo, actually responded. Um, he has agents. He's in jail for 120 years, but Eduardo is still out here fighting the good fight. Justice advocate, bringing justice to FBI agents, crimes in the Nexium case. You can't beat darkness with darkness. So you're darkness? Or he's light? So were you saying this Fucking guy's deep, in jail? Dude. I don't... No, 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 no. Ranieri's... Is, Ranieri's in jail. This is his spokesman. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Just uh, a couple of days ago, in uh, the conversation I had with Ron Sullivan... From Harvard, we were talking oh. about how which school? we the Harvard. Yo, okay, all right. Let me. So listen. you know he's trustworthy. Let me listen. Let me listen. People have facilitated the suppression of <clears throat> due process because we were clapping when the government cheated on someone we didn't like. Funny coincidence, yesterday Mark Elliott, who has been vocal against what the FBI did to Nexium and Keith Ranieri, Mark went on a podcast, it's called H3, I believe, and um, mm. they basically mocked him. You know, they invited him as a guest, and it was all sort we of a trap. We did not invite him, which he, he reached out to us. <laughs> yeah. Make sense why these people hate Keith and they believe what the media says. They seem to be very hateful themselves. I'm not the media, bro. We're very Just for the record. We're very hateful. I mean, I own this whole bitch. Ain't nobody pulling strings. We do hate pedophiles, though, which... Okay, yeah, that's fair. Oh, don't be so hateful, Cab. I don't know, man. Stop being so hateful. You <clears> we need, too much we need to start home. dis... We, in the words of Kanye, we need to stop dissing pedophiles all the time. Stop I, dissing the Nazis all the time. We never really uh, honed in on this. It makes me think on his website what he stands for. I Human stand decency for, for even the most hated, the canceled, the me-tooed men, the accused, anti-maskers, anti vaxxers These are not the most hated people in the world, just for the well, record. Watch it. <laughs> I love the escalation. I love, like, you know, anti-vaxxers, the arrested, just general. Just everyone. Everyone who's him. ever been arrested. All of them? Yep. And then Trump, Biden, LGBT people. <laughs> LGBT people. They're not the most <laughs> hated minorities. people. <laughs> minorities. All, my own all own minorities. Left-wingers, right-wingers. Someone who said the wrong thing. Someone who said or wore the wrong thing. Keith Rainier. Keith Rainier. No, no, no. Insert who's next. It's like uh, y'all are so dumb. You can't even mask what this is all about. I hate pedophiles. I dare you to put that next to your face, Mark. Put that <laughs> yeah. on the list there. Yeah, just put, put he that did, on the list. I, I mean, he clearly does stand for pedophiles if he's running. He's literally for, standing for <clears> yeah. What's interesting is he says the most hated and then put like basically... I think almost everyone in the country would fall into one of those categories. Yeah, it totally re redeemable, uh, debatable stuff. But, like, the one thing that everybody agrees on is, like, child predators, and he didn't actually put that on that the list, list, which is what Keith... Well, but Mark's for. name was on there, or uh, Keith's name was yeah. on there, so, yeah. by proxy. So here is uh, Eduardo. And they started doing what I was discussing with Ron. They started mocking, and, you know, they're seeing evidence of... Uh, uh, the FBI cheating. They're seeing the best cyber experts in the world saying, "Dude, there's lit there's literally no evidence. 
You showed no evidence. It's just a bunch of talking heads being like, can you believe how corrupt the FBI is? There's no evidence. What are you guys talking about? Show me evidence. Oh, you goes, oh, the timestamp was fuck it. That metadata was changed. Okay, show it to me. And also, I don't care because he did a lot of other shit other than that hard drive. Saying it and they're uh, mocking them, cheering at the destruction of the Republic, so to speak. Huh? So it was unfortunate to find that that's what's going on as we hypothesized. Again, I believe that this is the devil turning around on us. So brave from Mark Elliott and good job. <laughs> good yeah, job. He nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely. This is good, a good job. Y'all need better spokesmen, man. <laughs> Next team is good nothing work. without Keith. You guys need a well, cult leader. Look at the uh, replies to see how uh, this message was uh, received. Let's see. Matt Gates from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> this you, bro? What's wrong with this? I don't know. Let's see. More replies. Um, oh, look. Another Ranieri hanger on who needs to be deprogrammed. Try me. Try me. me. <laughs> What does that mean? What are we trying? Deprogramming him, I guess. What's your name? He goes, try deprogramming you? No, that position is better left for medical professionals. He goes, what's your name? <laughs> Bro's trying to recruit in Twitter replies. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> wow. He goes, I don't divulge personal information to cult members. Sorry. You just divulged others' info publicly? I suspected it. Another anonymous chicken. He's really in the weeds here. Your boy Mark got owned. Don't know why you'd cover for someone who's obviously racist. Racist? I don't know why they... Well, if you believe that he was faking Tourette's to say the N-word, I guess you could say he's racist. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Supposedly he support, uh, supported Kanye when he was being canceled. Because he, of course! He's, he the can, he's, he's canceled. He, and therefore, he stands by with default everybody. position of every single person is to support now what? Him. The arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so we love them. He also tweeted something out. If you want to call in, uh, dude, Eduardo, do you want to call in? Like, genuinely. <laughs> Come in. You know who we are now. It's not a trap. Call in, Eduardo. Call in. I dare you to call in. Somebody reach out to Eduardo. You can call him right now. It's live. <laughs> I don't know. By the time this comes back around to him, we'll probably be over this whole thing just like ron sullivan explained a few days ago that podcast h3 clapped at government corruption and mocked mark elliott for trying to expose it yep mm, what is this we as a people what the fuck is all this crap it's all so like weird <laughs> oh. shit. Yeah. like it's all been recorded on the web camera yeah well, that's what I was saying we'll about that th that compilation they put together. It was all on Zoom. It really just shit. made me wonder if they, like, called a lawyer to ask some legal questions <clears> and then just recorded it and put that on there. 100%. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so that was all pretty interesting. I was posted in Colt Watch, apparently. This is, oh, there's, I wanted to give a crossover shout out. Over at the Nexium case, they have longed for someone to call out Mark Elliott's bullshit claim that Tourette's can be cured. Ranieri didn't discover shit. It's a well-known uh, that shame and abuse can force people to hide their traits. I didn't know that. Shame and abuse? Well, it sounds like that's what they were doing. But anyway. Um, Based on that victim <clears throat> statement, yeah. It sounded like they were like threat. Like if you don't. <laughs> you're you ruining don't, everything. You're ruining our lives if you don't cure your Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so there it is lots of going on there uh, a lot of people were saying maybe this is why Mark thought I was pro Andrew Tate and he did address his email to Dear H3 Podcast Highlights <laughs> <laughs> this was his research Oopsie. why is it so windy outside bro what the fuck's going on well there's a giant storm blowing in LA it's supposed to rain super you know it's supposed to Potentially snow in LA over the next few days. Oh, but it seriously? sounds like fucking Crazy. Grand Theft Auto outside. Well, I know. All I hear well, is like yeah, mad sirens, <laughs> and then the w the building is like shaking from wind. It's given, right? It's the biggest trick in the, of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Kim. Oh, it's going to start raining today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's like blizzard warnings in LA County right now, which really is very unusual. Yeah.
Huh. Oh, shit. Okay. So I was wrong about Andrew Tate, and then there's another one here. Why I changed my mind, Andrew Tate clearly did not <laughs> click the videos, but... Uh, That's so funny. Clickbaiting backfired on it in his case. But okay, let's get to... Let me thank the sponsors, and let's get to our very special caller. Everyone's going to love. Yep. I, we have one sponsor. Let me quick thank them quickly. ExpressVPN. We love ExpressVPN. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. You've heard me talking about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your my privacy. But choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. Now, I like to do research on my sponsors. We always do. And I only recommend brands to my listeners that I believe in. And I actually do believe in ExpressVPN. We've been working with them for a while. Only positive things. Uh, in all the years we've been working with them. Number one, ExpressVPN doesn't log your activity online. Lots of cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers, but ExpressVPN doesn't do this. They develop a technology trusted server that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all. Speed. Number two, ExpressVPN now uses Lightway, a new VPN protocol they engineered to make user speeds faster than ever. Sometimes VPNs are slow, it's slow your connection, but with ExpressVPN, it's always blazing fast and lets me stream videos in HD quality with zero buffering, zero. The last thing that really <clears throat> sets ExpressVPN apart is just how easy it is to use. You don't need any tech skills to get it set up. Just fire up the app, tap one button to connect, and that's it. Even your grandparents could do it. <clears throat> I'll prove them wrong. <clears throat> But maybe your parents could, your grandparents could. You don't even have My to grandparents are it, dead. Dude. Okay, let's not be insensitive <laughs> here. They they can't. They're dead. What are they gonna do? Right. Yeah. Not possible. And it's not just me saying the CNET, Business Insider, The Verge, and many other tech journals rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. I love ExpressVPN. It's great for getting content in other countries. Netflix Japan rules. You connect v via the VPN, you get there. Say you're from Japan. All of Miyazaki's library is on Japan Netflix. I mean, come on. Pays for itself. Also keeps your data private. What more do you want? So protect yourself with the VPN that I use and trust. Use my link, expressvpn.com slash H3 today and get an extra three months Free. Oh, miss you. On a one year package. That's expressvpn.com slash h3. Visit expressvpn.com slash h3 to learn more. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. We had talked previously about one of my favorite new TikTok accounts. Uh, our boy shirtless Eddie, was he was he really on Parks and Rec? Oh my God, that's shirtless Eddie. He had a shirt on though. I almost didn't recognize. Why was he wearing a shirt? Eddie, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a shirt? Shirt on Eddie. <clears throat> so he's a working actor. He's in SAG. Yeah. Uh, maybe. We, well, we can ask. <laughs> but here he is, just to jog some of y'all's memory. Shirtless Eddie is a He's committed to the role, and he is just awesome. Eddie, what are you doing outside the 7-Eleven with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on before you go inside. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to go in here with my shirt off, because I always go into 7-Eleven with my shirt off. <laughs> Eddie, what are you doing? I love it. Fucking legend. Now he's in 7-Eleven. Hey, Eddie, what are you doing in a 7-Eleven with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on. Eddie. What are you doing with your shirt up inside of 7-Eleven? Put your shirt back on, Eddie. I'm here in the 7-Eleven with my shirt off. I feel great. I lost weight. Hey, Eddie. I, just have I to, lost weight. The sweetest guy. Like, in talking to him, super nice. I have so many questions just about... <laughs> hey, Eddie, what are you doing with your shirt off? Put your shirt back on. Uh, oh, Eddie, what are you doing here? <laughs> you really had to ask him, Eddie. The man's struggling. Let him go. Oh, what is it? Oh. Put your shirt uh, oh. I feel wonderful and I'm freezing out here. Hey, I'm glad for you. I feel great. 
All right, let's talk to Eddie. You guys know him. All right, you know him. You'll you love, love him. Here him. he comes. He's the it's man. Let's Eddie get people. him on the phone. Shirtless Eddie. The legend. Or Eddie Lovesy. Lovesies? Lovesies? Oh, and there he is, shirtless as ever. Shirtless as the day he was born. Shirtless Eddie. Sitting there with a, his audio. a friend. Stand by. Stand by. They are eagerly trying to get the audio connected. to work. Hello, how you doing? Yes. Hey. Eddie, nice to see you, shirtless. You. Who's that Dad, sitting with you? Cam. Hi, Eddie. This hey. is my friend Austin from Boston. Hi, guys. He's Hi. with me today, showing Hi. he really is a big fan of the A Street Podcast. Oh, thanks. Here. Nice to meet you, Austin. Thanks for helping Eddie out. Yeah, yeah. Austin yeah. from Boston. Austin yeah. Fox. Yeah. Hey, Eddie, how come, you, how come you won't answer Cam's DMs? Oh, you know why? Because I got so many people when I got that 2.2 million viral oh. that I couldn't even uh, respond to all of them, and it, you just got lost in the shuffle. Uh, I see. It. He's big leagues, Cam. You but can't I expect him to, to answer all the fans. Yeah, Cam, Cam. I am a big fan, I got to say. It's, it's Thank a, you, it's Cam. It's an honor to meet you. Uh, honor to meet you, too. You're great. Thank, Thank you, guys. Well, I'm glad you made the time yes, to come I'm talk to us. Great. So shirtless Eddie, I want to ask you what where is the concept for this? Is this really who you are or is this a character you're playing? It's kind of a character I play. You know, I was in Fight Club the movie and I was right next to Meatloaf and I got to be shirtless for the Fight Club scene that's the AFI Film what? Festival Top 100. Yeah. What? If you and I also was in Jack's Back Red Rain with uh, James Spader from Blacklisted, but basically you know, uh, this idea came on my birthday. January 17th was my birthday of this year. And as I was in a CVS just checking my lottery tickets. And a lady said, Ed, why are you shirtless? Because I wanted to show that I was on a, a lottery machine. So I got the idea from her. She goes, Ed, put your shirt back on. And then that's whoa, how whoa, it kind whoa, of whoa. started. You, what were you trying to do? You were prov you, did you go yeah, into I the was, CVS shirtless? No, I didn't go into the CVS shirtless, but then I thought of the idea because, you know, I thought maybe it would be fun to be in a store with my shirt off. I kind of just came to me, you know, the idea. Right. So is it comedy or is it like a suspense? What, what are we going for? Mystery, thriller, comedy? Yeah, a little shock value just to get people to maybe uh, realize that we should all be free and just, you know, okay. be uh, ourselves and just try to get more uh, yeah, fun in life, you know, because life is so fun anyway. With the PTSD from the pandemic, I thought people might need a fun mm, time to enjoy that's themselves. Nice. Escapism. Yeah. It is very well, nice. The content is very nice. It's very good. Are you a nudist? Do you, do you, are you uh, into the nude form? Absolutely not. Yeah. You know, oh, no. I always like to have my shirt on, but uh, recently I lost 30 pounds. And so I thought I'd show it before. That's how it started, too. I wanted to show a before and after of how I looked and how my body's shrinking with the before and after. And my chi chi area would get flatter and maybe my belly would What's get your flatter. Chi -chi area? Well, just, you know, these were not like that. I was uh -oh. thin my whole life until okay, I was about okay. 35, yeah. and I gained a lot of, like, chi-chi fat. Uh, the, recently, when I ate a lot of food, there are three restaurants here in Burbank, Lancers and, like, Coral Diner and, like, you know, Talleyrand, and I was overeating a little bit on uh, all their foods because I really liked the three restaurants they had here. And so I ate a lot of breakfast in the morning, you know, a lot mm. of cheesy breakfasts, and that gained a lot of weight, you know. And oh, so yeah, that'll I sneak up on you, camera. man. That'll oh, sneak thanks. up on you, but I'm glad you're losing weight. So you're so. How do you shoot these videos? Let's say you yeah, go. You let's, know, let's say you go into Walmart. There's a different person in every video. Are you just going up to strangers and giving them your phone and saying, "Hey, ask me why am I in here without my shirt?" Yes, pretty much. That's you got me there. You know, I uh, a lot of times they like to join in because they've seen me on TikTok, and uh, a lot of them sometimes wave to me on the street if I'm a. Uh, on the Chandler uh, bikeway here in Pathway, and you know they'll say, "Eddie, we saw you in your live, or we saw you on TikTok. You went, put your shirt back on." Oh, and that's so awesome. I'm amazed that, that I have fans like that that remember me already on TikTok. <laughs> have you ever had any interesting encounters? I can I can see some people may being sensitive and not wanting to participate in that kind of video. 
Oh, yes. A lot of times they might say, no, no, we wouldn't want to uh, partake in something like that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to partake. Mm -hmm. And I usually would uh, say back to them, you're lost. You would have enjoyed this or something like that. Like, it's your loss. I'm going on the H3 podcast. I just did that yesterday. This the two people didn't want to do it. And so I said, I'm going on a podcast. You're lost. You could have been famous. Absolutely. They're lost. When you ask them, are you shirtless or are you wearing a shirt? Well, usually I'm wearing a shirt okay, because then... I don't want to shock them too much to begin <laughs> right, with. Right, right. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to be shirtless? Do you have a – where's the spot for that? Yeah, it's usually Walmart because, Walmart. you know, a lot of people in Walmart are kind of the Walmartians, and so they're mm -hmm. funny anyway, and they have got character looks. And I kind of look around. I, I got in trouble at Costco, I have to say, <laughs> the other day because I was in Costco, and I was I had my shirt off. And uh, that's one of the ones that first went viral. And so uh, what happened was I was in an aisle and one of my I threw my shirt and my sweater, you know, I threw it, took threw it off so that it would come off real fast so I could do the video quick and get out of there. And then what happened was it got it got stuck inside somewhere and I couldn't find <laughs> it and I couldn't get to it. And so I was stuck there with my shirt off the whole time. And then what happened was I got to, so embarrassing because of the fact that. You know, I can't find my shirt and some employee spotted me. And then he started telling all management and, and security there that I had my shirt off. And Costco can't oh, have your boy. people with their shirt off. It's not part of their protocol. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I can see. I can see that you would stand out. Not proto. Did you ever get your shirt back or did they just kick you out shirtless and all? Yeah, I had to get some of the Costco employees to uh, come help me uh, retrieve the shirt and sweater that I had thrown some over the you know, they, counter. Uh, did they ask and, you uh, why did you do that? Yeah, they they go. They knew that what the jig was up because I first told them that I I had just uh, uh, my uh, you know I had must have uh, lost it somewhere. I lost my shirt. I didn't tell them why, <laughs> and then they realized that I was making a video, and so they kind of got flabbergasted about that. Oh man! <laughs> and they kind of outed me by saying, "Oh yeah, you you really uh, didn't just misplace your shirt, or it didn't come off. Uh, there was other it just reasons. came off. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't see that as very plausible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, do you believe in the sh no shirt, no shoes, no service? Do you believe that that should be outlawed? What's your opinion on that policy? Oh, definitely. It should not be. I think people in California are just too uptight right now. And, you know, we're not New York City or, you know, it's not business, all business. It should be laid back. And I guess I'm I a beach, you know, beach lifestyle, yeah. bohemian. And I kind of used to live in uh, like uh, over, you know, and uh, uh, I think that they should just have like an attitude that, you know, it is California. So, you know, surf's up or, you know, just try to surf's let up. people hang, let it all hang out, hang 10 and get hang back 10. to that 1970s, you know, time when everything was more laid back. I mean, men used to wear shirts with their collars completely off. I think, you know, like I remember seeing some of the Fox broadcasters who've been on there for 40 years on the Fox Channel 11 news, and they were from like the 1970s Los Angeles news. And and they show pictures of themselves where they just had open like button down shirts and they'd go to parties with their shirts completely. All right. Well, obviously our internet didn't go down because we're still talking to Eddie. Uh, one sec, Eddie, bear with us. Yeah, Austin technical. from Boston is here with us. Say hi, Austin Hello, from Boston. Oh, just, Shout out to his account. He just started three weeks on TikTok, so yeah, give him yeah. any love if he can. Yeah. Austin from Boston, tell Thank him you. about how much you've been a fan of the H3 podcast for a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love I love, uh, I love, love uh, everything going back years. I used to watch Ethan and Hila, uh on, on the old podcast, and yeah, it's great. Thank you, man. How, how are yeah. you guys? How do you guys know each other? <laughs> so... I just met uh, Eddie while we were out walking. He has this path on Chandler Boulevard that he walks sometimes. And uh, my girlfriend and I just ran into him, did a video with him, talked with him for a little bit. And uh, he had told me that he was trying to get in touch with you guys and was having some difficulty DMing uh, Zach. So oh. we figured that out. And, uh, and now oh. he's here. So that's Austin so from nice. Boston. New yes. friends. All the friends yeah. we made along the way. Yeah. Hey, Austin, can we get you to take your shirt off in solidarity with Eddie? Yeah, do that, Austin. Yeah, that was I'll do it. Yeah. Right. Let's, let's, but I'll do it. Ethan, I'll do it. Yeah, Ethan has to do it, too. Okay, Ethan. You're, let's do oh, it. Oh, wow. I'm here yeah. in the podcast yeah, right with now. my shirt off. Right I just hey. like being here without my shirt. 
<laughs> hey Eddie, you're so hairless. Is that natural, or do you do you? Oh, you know that's a good question, Ethan. I uh, I used to go to uh, I shaved my chest one time for a part or something. Uh, I think I was on Star Trek, and I had to be a Romulan where I shaved my eyebrows and chest, you're and it just never grew Trek? back. Yeah, I was in Star Trek as a Romulan, and they shaved my See. eyebrows one time, and I never—they never grew back, and so that's why what happened. You know, I think I shaved my chest a couple of times for like Hunt for Red October as a sailor, or I was in Chevy Chase's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation as you know in a Christmas Vacation movie, and I uh, had to shave myself my whole body, you know, for some scene or something. And it just never grew back. Oh, that's kind of great. So most people say the opposite, <laughs> right? You shave it, it comes back. Uh, yeah. more heavy, but I'm actually jealous of the kind of that clean, beautiful skin look you have there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. very nice, very nice. Austin, how does it look in person? Does it look uh, as good in person? <laughs> it's very smooth. Well, move that away so yeah, they can see right. your. Nice yeah, jacket. come on, don't be shy now. Uh, it's he's he's got you know skin like a baby, so it's yeah, very it's beautiful. And, uh, he does have very and, nice uh, skin. No, no wonder he doesn't want to show it off. He wants to show it off all the time. So oh yeah, great. thanks. But you look good, Austin. You don't need to be embarrassed. You're definitely f f way fitter hey, than I am. Do you exercise? Do you exercise? Right, yeah, I need to get in the sun a little bit. I'm a little bit uh, pale, so it's my Irish uh, skin that's showing through here. That's okay. Your your chest hair pattern is interesting. Do you shave yeah. that, or because it, it's like so specific? Yeah, no, to your I breasts. just can't. Uh, I can't really grow chest hair, so it's it's been uh, it's a struggle. Yeah, man, it looks good. You look good, bro. You're you look good shirtless, man. You're in good shape. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Do you agree, yeah. Eddie? I agree. Yeah. yeah. But it's the first time I've seen his chest. We were gonna do a video today where I was gonna dare him to take his shirt off. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. This made the my made Break our day. the ice a little bit. Yeah, I wanted to right, dare you to take your shirt off. Yeah, I've never seen you with your shirt off, so that's awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you for and doing that. Austin, are you feeling comfortable or, or there or are you are you planning an escape route? <laughs> I think I'm okay now, but uh, I, I do have someone on speed dial in case something yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone knows where you are right now. Okay, from cool. his hometown. His mom is watching the podcast right yeah, now. Yeah, my mom's that watching. Right? So. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Love that. All and right. We told about 25 people to watch it right now, and you got about 37,000 people in here watching. That's yep. right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're getting solicited a little bit in the chat, Austin. Although you have a girlfriend, you have a significant other. Yeah, Austin from Boston has a girlfriend. I do have a, I am taken. She's yeah. very pretty Sorry, and ladies. she's a nice and, lady. And Eddie, do you have a significant other? I don't. I'm still single after all these years, you know, I'm still single. But, uh, you know, anyone wants to proposition me, hey, I'm here <laughs> for you. Let me ask you this. Would are, you want to date me? No, I'm just kidding. Do, do what, I when are you going to ask me? <laughs> married. I am married. I know, but I can ask my wife. Okay, you are my right. type, to be honest. Thank you. I love you back. Thank you. Well, do you, are you, Eddie? What are your relationships like? I know you're not you're single, but are you? Um, do you get out there? You know what I mean? Are you having um, sexual encounters? No, you know, I, I'm not right now because uh, with that pandemic, it was, I felt like, you know, that really uh, was a, oh, a deal yeah. breaker for that because, you know, I didn't want to catch any of the pandemic, uh, uh, you know, I have to be always uh, COVID positive, negative, you right. know, for COVID negative for any of the movies and TV right. shows. The so you can't, I can't, I can't kiss anyone. I can't have open mouth kiss. I can't do any of that because I don't want to get COVID-19, you know, and I'm omnicromed and little triple that oh yeah, that's yeah. a funny thing uh, you ask i'm 19 times vaxxed you know when they had the the vaccines and the boosters i kept going to the cvs's right aid and um, maybe that's where all this started because i kept going to the right aids and the cvs's and the walgreens to get vaccinated and the albertsons and the uh, bonds and they i had like 20 vaccines you know with the last year 20 vaccines but this is yeah like... i have a card that has like every month i was getting it every three weeks you know is that, a, is that even advised by yeah. Doctors? I, to... I know I was a walking like, uh, you know, guinea pig for it because uh, they'd say, uh, you know, uh, Eddie, you've been vaxxed nine times. We just can't give you another vaccine because I'm seeing on here. you. Uh, but I kept getting away with it. So I kept. You know what's it. interesting, Eddie? <laughs> I wasn't sure. There's people who are anti-vax. I've not yet met someone who is, <laughs> who is uh, who's yeah. so opposite. We're so pro-vaccine. So how does that work logistically? Do you just walk into the clinics and just say, hey, I want another vaccine? 
<laughs> yeah, I kept I walk in there every two three weeks and say, "Hey, uh, I'm uh, I need a vaccine. Uh, do me, do me, do me." You know, yeah. and uh -huh. uh, they just say yes because they think that uh, you know the more they juice me up, the more I might you know not not catch it, and then maybe I am a walking guinea pig for the government. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting, Eddie. Yeah, I don't know that 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 that's F even recommended or or that might even be dangerous, Eddie. I know oh, yeah. you're so right. After yeah. a while, you might you swell up, or your leg might blow up, or you know you might get some sort of. Uh, I never had any side effects, but it could never. happen. You never felt a fever or anything from any of the shots. No, no wow. side effects at all. Here's my dog Bruno. See the little Bruno. dog. Bruno, Hi, Bruno. Oh, what a oh, sweetheart. Bruno. Eddie, when was the last time you were vaccinated? Uh, just about two weeks ago, I was uh, Omnicrom for the third time. <laughs> Omnicrom. That is really, really and, uh, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. And they keep letting you. I would think that they would say, no, we can't keep doing this. But they, you give them the card. Or do you uh -huh. say, I'm not, or you know what? Maybe you say, I've not been vaccinated at all. Yes. Or I take the little stickers off the cards with the dates on them and I pretend <laughs> that the card's brand new and, and it was done 19 months ago or nine months ago. I'm due for one. Okay. So we're, so, okay. Interesting. So we're lying to them and saying yeah. that we haven't been vaxxed. Exactly. Very. Have you, that way they don't question me. They just do it. That's incredible. Eddie, have you ever had um, COVID? No, I of never got not. COVID. How could God, you? Not good. Virus. How could you? Um, you know, I'm triple people that think that the COVID vaccine makes your heart detonate or whatever. We we he's living proof. This is this is actually significant. Yeah, this is a, this, you are of significant fact, medical today, interest. Eddie. Again. <laughs> you're yeah. a, you're of significant medical interest. Uh, I think doctors yeah. might want to study you. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm willing. I tell my doctor all the time. I'm willing to be a guinea pig for whatever you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe that. Are you getting vaccinated? Any other vaccines uh, frequently, or just the COVID one? No, I got the uh, flu vaccine and the uh, this vaccine and that vaccine. Everything they've got. And you, do, how yeah. frequently do you do that? Yeah, how many flu shots? And uh, no, I don't even have sex, but I, I just do it anyway. You know, like to have a. <laughs> oh yeah, also like other what other vaccines? You name them. I've There's had polio, them. Polio, rabies. Yeah. Oh, right. I've tetanus. had the polio, the tetanus, uh, tetanus fourteen times. Smallpox. The, the smallpox ones fourteen times. Everything. So you would you say that you enjoy getting um vaccinated? Maybe yeah. you know uh, I want to say I guess I uh, just want to make sure that I uh, that the juice really went in. I always ask them, "Hey, did yeah. that liquid is is there really liquid in there? Is it, did that medicine go in? Uh, do, does this really have a? No, I don't believe you. Are you sure you're going to have that in there? Uh, are you sure this medicine is this a, a placebo or is this real medicine? Do you ever ask for a second dose? You're like, give me another one while I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> I have actually. I said, uh, I don't think that worked. Maybe we should do another one. They didn't hit right. And did they, did they oblige like or no? Yeah, sometimes I think they did one time because they, they said uh, that they broke something or something happened. I don't I, I think you, they, that that did happen. Do you think it's possible that they know you by now and they're just shooting up with water or something just to make you go away? Could be. Yeah, yeah it could be. be but could they're be. just doing yeah, that. Could be. Interesting. Um, Austin, how many times have you been vaccinated? Uh, I think four times, right? I had, well, the first one had a booster, right? So I had two there and then I think twice since then. I are you, had three. It seems like I, Eddie, are you comfortable being around Austin? Who's only been vaccinated four times? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Don't give me anything, Austin. Yeah. I had, I had COVID, I had COVID twice in four months. Oh, that's so, shh, those vaccines don't do I shit. I think you got to crank up right. those numbers, dude. You got to get up to like 20, 25. Right. That's right. Eddie, do you have a, <laughs> Eddie, do you have a goal kind of for how many times you want to be vaccinated? Yeah, probably maybe about uh, 40 times in one year. So that that <laughs> way, you know, they really do find that, uh, you know, they can't, uh, I can't ever, I'd be totally uh, isolated from being able to have the uh, COVID you think you're going to overcome COVID. You'll be, yes. there's no way it can ever get you. Is this you, by the way? Yes, that's me. Oh. I'm here in the bike club with Brad Pitt. Wow, yeah. okay. And right that's awesome. to Did yes. you do any scenes or were you just an extra kind of standing around in this? Well, 
I was just an extra, but we filmed it inside of a warehouse and we did have to take our shirts off during that time. And then oh, the next, fun. I would have been in more, but the next day I was on uh, Bowfinger with Eddie Murphy and, uh, and uh, Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. Yeah. And uh, what happened was they, uh, so I couldn't come back the second day, but I would have had more scenes even. And uh, people from all over said they saw me in it and, and just that uh, Bowfinger was golden time where you get like 18 hours because Eddie Murphy wouldn't come out of his trailer. And he oh, had, uh, I love that. You get paid yeah, well for, on an 18 hour day. Yeah, that was like with Christine Bransky and Eddie Murphy and Steve Martin. And they did a theater scene at the Bruin Theater in Westwood. And we were there for three meals and like oh, nice. you know, till like eight in the morning the following morning. And we got there earlier in the day, like at six in the morning the first day. And so, you know, it's like a 23 hour day almost, you know. So you get like $1,600 as an oh, extra. That's sweet. Yeah, at once, that time, once it's it was, past, uh, I believe it's 16 hours. Every right. hour is a full day's pay. Yeah, that's what he means by gold golden hour. Like when, because yeah. sometimes on film sets Whoa. you have to shoot so long, and that's the rule is that once you hit that extremely long shift, See, every th hour becomes a full Holy payday. Shit. Yeah, Starman needs to be fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, know you need to look out. Yeah. So, Eddie, do you think it's possible that you're? I don't know. Is there some kind of? Is there some kind of maybe sexual gratifications in all this, or is it all kind of just f platonic and fun? It's all pretty much platonic and yeah. fun, but you know, I'm not opposed to if if I did see somebody that really uh, caught my fancy, mm -hmm. I might uh, there might be some in there, and some people might be doing that uh, uh, just so that they get kind of their sexual gratification out of it. You know, right. it is kind of a time when uh, people are just have spring fever right now because right. you know it's February, and they'd rather it be like the spring when they are all you know uh, having sex all the time and right. uh, boinking each other. And boinking. so maybe you know it is a little of both. Okay, it's a little of both. And then, do you think? I, I just, I'm so fascinated by the frequency of the shots. Is there some kind of gratification in the shot, receiving the shots so many times? <laughs> oh, yes, because uh, a lot of times um, I want to see, I used to do them three times each, you know, just to see which one would actually uh, get the most uh, uh, views because a lot of times... Uh, they don't, uh, the first one maybe only could get 50 views or a hundred views, but if you do two or three, then maybe the second one and third one will hit the al algorithm there on TikTok. And so I think what happened with me is there was this guy named, uh, Waffler 69 and he died recently because he ate a lot of food from the dollar store or dollar general. And I think I got 69. a lot of his fans, Waffler 69. That's my gut feeling is that I, I met that niche that TikTok had for the, all the Waffler 69 people missed him so much. And they probably, oh, I knew him when he had 500 followers and then, you know, he got like 9.2 million followers or something, but then he died recently about three months ago, four months ago, he, out of a, he just started feeling like uh, heart problems. And he told his mom, I'm feeling sick. Uh, take, take me to the hospital. And he died on the way to the hospital. But I think it was because he ate a lot of cholesterol foods from the 99, from Damn. The dollar store. The dollar store. So I got store. some of his backlash from all of his fans that, uh, you know, they felt like they better uh, fill that void. What do you and mean backlash? Be... Are they mad at you for something, Eddie? No, not backlash, oh. but uh, like uh, the leftover, the people that uh, maybe you missed him dearly. You didn't have perhaps. anything to do with that, did you? No, you no. know, I didn't, but I thought everything he was eating was disgusting from the dollar store. And, you know, this is uh, actually a real a matter. Of time. This is a real story. He died of a heart attack at age 33. Waffler. 69, 69. Yeah. and i think uh you know there are sometimes there are these myths that they die <laughs> oh like this guy i had seen this oh no i've seen his videos story. yeah and so i think you know he used to chime in and uh it's like he would uh leave comments in some of my posts sometimes but i used to leave a lot of comments in his posts and when he became very famous he stopped commenting as much but you think he big timed you, know, you a little bit but maybe I think, yeah, pretty much. But maybe it's just, you know, his sort of uh, people, maybe um, they kind of knew that, you know, now that he's dead, they will maybe come over to my post now. So that could be the reason. And then oh. also 
It just because maybe TikTok also. One time I filmed two uh, girls uh, about two years ago or three years ago that were uh, from comic uh, comic con types. What do you call those when they're Japanese that uh, meet cosplay cosplay people girls and maybe they're uh, they thought that was too provocative so they uh, banned that particular post of mine or they kept telling me to take it down. I see because of the. It was Trump era time when they were trying to take down t- – Trump was trying to take down TikTok, and maybe uh, though that happened, and so it stalled a lot of my uh, growth on TikTok. Okay. So now years later, TikTok tried to make it up to me for having told me you know, maybe the, they had uh, some people try to stop that particular post simply because they were dressed as – in their Comic-Con outfits. And Eddie, they, were, they were of age, right? Yeah, they were of age, okay. but they looked young on camera, so people mm-hmm. thought okay. they might have been okay. younger than they were. Too provocative. Hey, Eddie, um, are you loyal to one brand of vaccine, or do you kind of sleep around, so to speak? Uh, pretty much loyal to one, uh, which is, you know, uh, I do, uh, just mostly one. Yeah. I don't really sleep around with, because, uh, <laughs> Pfizer is different than, you know, Moderna. And I like the name Madonna, Moderna cause it sounds like Madonna. Mm-hmm. So and you're so, a Moderna, you're a Moderna man. Yes. Cause yeah, I think maybe too. Madonna made that one. Madonna made Moderna. Right. Yeah, I like Moderna know. too. If they don't have Moderna, would you take a Pfizer? I probably would. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, why, yeah. Not? why not? Right? Why not? Yeah, it mm. wouldn't bother me. Are you are you a big fan of Madonna? Yeah, a big fan, and I've uh, been uh, all through the years, you know, and uh, followed her forever, and loved all, all her concerts. And so, you know, I sing a lot of Madonna songs, and I do a lot of uh, uh, of, of you know enjoy everything about. Well, she's uh, her a fan career. of this show. Years. I don't know if you know that she's a, oh, yes. she's in our audience. Terrific. Yeah. Well, She's, hi, Madonna. She could be watching right now. And yeah. thank you for all your 40 years, and we can't wait for the celebration tour. Yeah, here's yeah. here's Shirtless Eddie at CVS, basically. He just keeps going in and out, <laughs> in and out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where's get me that Moderna quick. <laughs> all right, Eddie, well, listen. Eddie wonderful. is single and ready to mingle. He's out there. He's shirtless. He's in L.A., Mm-hmm. And he's, uh, you're looking for love currently, is that right? Looking for love yeah. in all the wrong places. Oh, yeah. Looking yeah. for love. And are you, <laughs> and so are you basically willing to make out with somebody at this point? Or are you still playing it safe? I probably wouldn't say no to making out. Okay. Anytime. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you are vaccinated. That's right. I'm probably protected so much that I couldn't get it anyway. No. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I'm surprised you're still alive, though, man, to be totally honest with that many vaccines. But you're doing great. Thanks. Keep it up, man. Keep us updates. I want to know how hot how many vaccines you can get. Okay, I will do that. I'll go right now today and go uh, do a shirtless from a vaccination. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) And that would be a cool viral video. Although, you know, I've heard that you're going to have to start paying for it soon. Oh, no. They're, really? they're stopping Ooh, the funding. That would be a deal breaker. Yeah, yeah. I don't wouldn't pay for that. It's going to cost like $30 uh, or something for us. I liked having it free. Yeah, Man, yeah. no, I wouldn't like that. Can I ask you, do you, are you someone that likes getting free things? Sure. I just uh, uh, got this free blender <laughs> for $5, <laughs> you know, for just shipping and handling so I can mix things in a blender, you know, from TikTok and anything that's free, you know, I want to make sure to uh, grab a hold of that. Is part of the appeal with the vaccine, you think, that it's free and you like taking advantage of a free offer? I think so. You're yeah. going to hit the nail on yeah. it. That's right. Huh. Yeah, because the more, you know, freebies, you know, take advantage of it while you can because, you know, for the freebies won't last for long. I, everything goes uh, to that. Yeah, it's all going to cost soon. So free, take advantage of it while you can. Okay, that's interesting. So I see it's kind of the frugal thing. Are you a coupon cutter? Do you do coupons and stuff like that? No, I no, really okay. am not. You know, okay. just has to be free to begin with. Just free, or, you know, free. Yeah, two for two furs, or buy for buy one get one free, or you know, go for uh, to make sure that it's fifty uh, percent off originally. Right. Well, Eddie, it's been such a pleasure to talk to you. Shirtless Eddie is out there. He's on TikTok. 
He's everywhere. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure talking to you too, guy. Have and, a wonderful day. And and nice to talk to you Austin, guys. Thank, thank you, you for so much for helping Austin, Eddie yeah. out. Yeah. Nice to meet Eddie you as well. Eddie on TikTok and Austin from Boston. Thank Austin, you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Eddie. We love you. Yeah. Shirtless Take care. Eddie. Love you. Thanks, right. guys. Wow. Oh, I thought we were going to stare at each other for a minute. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Zach, the way you're staring at me is freaking me out, bro. Uh, hi. How are you, man? Doing good. Um, I keep looking over, and it's just like you staring, like, really intently. intensely what, at me. what are you talking about? I don't know. It's just like maybe the eye level is different or something. Uh, I mean... I don't know. You feeling all right? Like, you good? Yeah. What do you ask? I'm fine. Um, love Eddie. Yeah. Good guy. He's a treat. Powerful. What a character. Vaccinated king. Dude, he is. I didn't know that people Juiced were doing off. that. He's going, he's lying. And he's, um, and he's getting as many vaccines as possible because they're free, apparently. I get that. Did you get your shots? Man, just they, they get a, up. They could. I could just start sucking blood out of him and injecting it in people. It would probably vaccinate them just on his blood. I love that he moves the stickers around like it's a scrapbook on his vaccine card. There. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so awesome, dude. Well, there it is, shirtless Eddie. Mm-hmm. I hope I can still get that collab with him. I'm a big fan. I mean, you're a shoe in now, right? I hope so. He still hasn't responded. I'll send him another message. I'll send you his number. Please, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. call him, text him or something. I'll, I'll meet him at any Target or Walmart of his choosing. Yeah. I got to pee, actually. And then we've got a lot more to talk about, including the Philly DeFranco drama. He called me out. Big time, actually. <clears throat> gutted me to be totally honest. Stop, 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 stop. I thought he was going to be talking about our our Nexium interview, and it turned out he was just calling me out for fat shaming him. And normally he seems like he would. But yeah. And uh, I was just absolutely devastated to be totally honest. Um, devastated. S oh, you alright, Cam? Yeah, so I'm going to go to the bathroom. We'll talk about Philly D and also uh, lots of other fun stuff to talk about, including, did you guys know there's a Nick Akado versus Candace Owens drama going on? This to me is... Yeah, that shocked the hell out of me. This to me is everything, as they say. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go pee real fast, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get into the Philly D uh, deets, the Philly deets. All right. Have, have a good night. night. Have a good night. <laughs> So that was a delightful call. Very, very Great. joyful. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Eddie now. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm trying to find him in Star Trek. Do what do you when you were searching for, did you get his full name? No, I, I was trying to find his full yeah, name. Yeah, I was trying to find it too. And I thought I did, but I can text him. Yeah, try and get that. I really okay. want to find that. Uh, okay. That Romulan shot. Zach, do you want to um Plug your live show while we have some time? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Zach Lewis, Live at the Roxy, May 13th, going like hot fondue. That's what we're doing. Nice. Hot fondue. Very cool. Sick. You know, I know we're going to get into this Philly D stuff, but I do want to just say it's a little bit awkward because I just bought some Philly D merch on Friday. I haven't even got it in the mail yet, so we need to, we need to figure this shit out. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. I don't know if Ethan knows yet. I gotta have, have a good night. I'll spring it on him. Should have worn it today. Oh, you said it's I, not here yet. Come yet. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Any fun weekend plans? We're gonna go see Cocaine Bear. Mm. Anybody else hyped for Cocaine Bear? I don't know what it is, but I'm down to go with you guys. You haven't seen the trailer? Mm -mm. It's about a bear that does a bunch of cocaine. It's fucking sick. Oh dude. yeah, I'm in. I'm sold. It's fucking <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> Can't wait. Anybody in the audience hype for Cocaine Bear? Can you do cocaine with the bear? 
or is it about a bear? No, it's a film. It's a film. No, I know. There's no actual bear doing cocaine. I'm, it's fake. It's I, I know. I know, but like, is like a fan interaction thing? Like, can you do cocaine with a bear? Or? You can go see the movie on cocaine. They Heck, won't stop you. Can you bring a bear? I don't think the bear would be permitted in the on the grounds. Yeah. Uh, Maybe if you go to like an Alaskan theater or something. Well, there you go. Yeah. You know. Shout out a uh, grizzly man. Shout out Werner Herzog. <laughs> Shout out uh, Timothy Treadwell. Rip to the it goat. Was the most terrible thing I've ever seen in my took, entire life. I took a silly, goofy photo with Werner Herzog not too long ago. Wait, what? Yeah, let me let me get that picture up. Oh wait, you have shown me that before. Yeah, he was doing a screening of uh, Fitzcarraldo. A Werner Herzog. Yeah, and I, I took a photo where I was licking his face. A Werner. When I saw Baby Yoda, it was the most <laughs> beautiful thing I have ever seen in my entire life. When I, I ate a shoe. <laughs> I'm desperately trying to find her. Are right you now. guys doing an impression of the designer from The Incredibles? No. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's more of my God, you've gotten fat. And the mold, right? I started watching those with Theodore. Mm -hmm. Great movies. Yeah, they're really good. My favorite Pixar. The first one especially is like flawless, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. <coughs> Have a good night. No, no, I just got here. You can, yeah. Zach, um, I want to congratulate you, by the way, on the audio and that intro. It was really good. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. I think there's a little bit of lag on your mic or something we need to fix yeah that. i know dan like there's we something with the latency yeah today, i'm right? sorry i'm sorry we're yeah. trying to fix it before the show i was trying to do some last minute changes this morning but uh, thank you ethan I, I really do appreciate now it. you're the man you know how i feel about thank you. you i really you're the best in the biz thank you i really uh that means a lot you also i don't do, what products do you use in your hair uh jeff's barbershop really mm. yeah i use jeff's barbershop uh, some of the pomade, and I actually use native shampoo and conditioner as well. Oh my goodness! So uh, you know, I think Jeff needs to start paying us. I know it's great pomade, and um, you know, it's good shit. Good I you. love it. Your hair looks really good today. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's first talk about Aiden Ross showing porn to his audience. I talked about that yesterday. I think we've talked about kick. No, wait, we, didn't we talk about it on Monday? Oh, we did. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so yeah. then this guy, Jake Lucky, he's like a, he's like drama alert, but without like being a giant fucking psycho douche. Mm -hmm, yeah. Which is actually good. It's actually a really nice service he provides. Aiden Ross got mad at Jake because he clipped this, the, the clip of him watching porn with his fans. And he sent Jake this message. Uh, keep yourself safe, he says to him, which is, of course, an acronym. KYS, as everybody knows, means kill yourself. And I find that pretty, uh, pretty interesting. He is turning a new leaf. Glad to see he's sending super nice dude, Aiden Ross. Idol, actually. Jake had a great response. This one here, the video? Yeah, yeah. Keep yourself safe. Yeah, you're in trouble, bro. You know what he punch? He punches like one of those wind-up toys. <laughs> They're like they, yeah. they fight like this. Mm -hmm. Scary, scary stuff. Yeah, I don't think we should be saying "kill yourself" to anybody, Aiden, in this day and age. I was kind of shocked by that, frankly. I was like, really? Oh fuck! Go back to jerking off, man. You're clearly yeah. wound up. <laughs> it's fucking you up. It's dude. not doing you any good. You're watching porn with all your ch kid fans. You're sending death threats. Milk porn. Go watch some exploding milk porn for Christ's sake. Um, a Arab World News friend of the show has a message for you, AB, before your Ladies big fight. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Welcome with me, our Iron Hero, who has multiple names, also has multiple talents. Mm -hmm. He nice. is Star Killer. Star Killer. That's him. <laughs> Inspiring. Yeah. 
Please clap, he says. He is a big part of the H3 family. Mm -hmm. This family is not only deep in Wait, they the can't, they can't see his little picture. In oh, true. Can you uh, uh, full screen it? A shredder. I hear Shredder crying. Where, where's Lena? I think he wants to go downstairs. Where's is Lena here, AB? Or is she doing stuff? Uh, she might be doing something. I could text her. Can you can you see Hibbs went picture in picture, Ian? Also in sports. <laughs> AB, oh, you represent us in the Creator Clash on April 15. Mm -hmm. So this day, the H3 family will not sleep the night because our hearts will be filled with excitement mm -hmm. and happiness by your victory, yes. inshallah. 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 But if, astaghfirullah, you lost, the whole family is still behind you, supporting mm -hmm. you, Abdullah. Oh, you. But let's make this challenge a little, a little bigger before we compete with strong dad. Mm. We know that challenges bring excitement. So my dear for AB is, if you lose, you will also lose something you love, like shave your hair like this. What do you think, AB? I think that's a fair challenge. If you lose, you got to shave your hair. Um. So something's on the line for the family. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that yet. I don't know. Arab um, World News put you on the spot, bro. I'll hit him with the... Okay, what about the beard? Up. What about the beard? Uh, the beard, that may be even worse. You think so? Yeah. There's nothing worse than a dude you're used to seeing with facial hair than you're like, oh my god, you're like a chud. Yeah. Like, yeah when, I, when I shave, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like the virgin from the virgin meme. Yeah, I don't think I could ever, you know, shave my beard. No. Yeah, it's tough. There's some dudes who just look great, too. They shave and they look like fucking a billion dollars. All right. Mm -hmm. You gotta have, like, that Casey Neistat chin. Otherwise, that jawline. That prehistoric chin. Present something that you can afford to lose, but that you love in your life? Uh, I, I, I'd have to think on it. I'd have to think on it. How about Twilight? I'll never watch. Better, I'll never watch Twilight again. Do you mean it though? Like you're you're lying. You'll definitely watch Twilight. Yeah, probably. So come on, bro. I take this seriously. I, do, I, I I I have to think on on this. What about your pubes? Would you shave your pubes? I think he said he already does that. My pubes are already shaved. Yeah. Oh, then you gotta grow your pubes out. And never shave them. Okay, again. we could do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we have any way to verify that. What if you donate your bongos to the show? Oh, I can't do that. Too many memories associated. Zach could confirm the pubes. Bro, thing. you got to put something on the line. Your pubes, dude. I, I got to think. I don't know. He's I got to think of what it is. I'll, I'll have to come All right, back. You bring, you bring something good. Go get uh, 10 vaccines with Eddie. <laughs> that I, I couldn't. I don't recommend. <laughs> That's really not safe. That, I, that can't be safe, right? To get 40 vaccines. <laughs> No. <laughs> like, that's... What, I mean, maybe Dr. Ids would have the answer. Oh, let's get Dr. Ids. I'm going to ask him about the medical <laughs> efficacy of getting 40 COVID vaccines. Also, he said he got them, like, 10 of every other vaccine in the world. I love that for <laughs> He's him. He's gotten it all. He's juiced up, dude. Jeez. He's unstoppable, man. I mean, anti-vax people just, show, just say, here's Eddie. He's alive. Although they might look at Eddie and be like, this, see, this is what we're talking about, but I don't know. The, the funniest part for me about that conversation was he called his, his uh, man boobs his chi-chis. <laughs> yeah, what, what is the, <laughs> what's the origin for the chi-chi thing? <laughs> chi People were saying he's Latino. Is that a Latino thing? I, I don't know. That, that was just fucking hysterical, dude. Yeah, the chi-chis. We love the chi-chis. All right, let's talk about Philly D, who broke my heart. Yeah, Philly, I come before you today. We used to be friends. What happened to us? We used to be stop, 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 stop. such close friends, Philly D. And now you say 
that I fat shamed you. Things up right now. This on the day of my of my great interview with Mark Wahlberg. Mark Fuck things up right now. Elliot. Elliot. Mark Elliot. All right, let's watch. Yeah, I didn't have this. Let's not do shtick now. Okay, so yesterday on the members podcast, everyone and in chat we were talking about the like next interview. Yeah, that's a and I have to say, it's something I'm really proud of. And I'm kind of disappointed to see that nobody's talking about it. I feel like it's kind of a, it's a relevant story. Hassan covered it. Thank you, Hassan. We love you for that. And I thought Philly D might cover it like a good thing, like something good I've done. And I don't complain about Philly D clickbaiting me, but it's always something bad. It's never something good. When's the last time Philly clickbaited me for something good to say, congratulations, Ethan, you did a good thing today? Fuck things up right now. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and I, I know I do a lot of bad things, but there's got to good. be a good thing in there somewhere. Right. Is this like a De Niro thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's got to be a good thing somewhere in there. <laughs> Might be your best one uh, yet. You like the face? I, that's kind of spot on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, Philly. How, how does De Niro talk? That's pretty pretty good. It's pretty good. No, that's not it. No, you like squint in the whole time. Smart. Just do this occasionally. No, but what's his accent sound like? You... <clears throat> You, you think I'm a funny guy? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's there. Do I make you laugh? Can I, can you milk me, Philip DeFranco? <laughs> there you go. Philly, why is it always a bad thing? Why can't it be a good thing? You know, I'm not your punching bag. I'm your buddy. Talk like you, you really have to sneeze. Like, <laughs> I really... <laughs> Philly D, <laughs> why do you put me in your thumbnails? But it's always something bad. And now I sound like Jerry Seinfeld. Philly D, what's with the thumbnails? <laughs> what's with all these thumbnails? All right. Yeah, so anyway, I was super excited. I think I took it so hard because I was expecting some nice coverage. The original title yeah, was... You got whiplash. I did, yeah. Uh, the original title was... Ethan... Klein has to stop, something like that. He changed it to this has to stop. Yeah, Ethan Klein, please stop. Please stop, which is still a reference to me, this, by the way, this has to stop. So I was, you know, first in the title and in the thumbnail. So he got a juicer off me. But here it is. Here's what he had to say about me. Situation that disappears right now, and I also, you know what, it is so beside the point of this story, but uh, since he was mentioned, I, I kind of just want to say this to Ethan Klein, uh, can you stop talking about my fucking weight on your podcast? Well, I personally use people saying negative things about my weight or my looks as further motivation when I'm working out, to the point that I even do like David goggins s bullshit, like, like taking the audio of them calling me fat or whatever language they use, and, and mixing it <laughs> with pump-up songs for my that seems pretty extreme. I mean, I, I, I actually, I didn't even hear what he said afterwards because I was so devastated. He has people calling him fat worked into his workout music? That's, that's intense use and mixing it with pump up songs for my workouts. There are also tons of people that deal with weight issues and eating disorders, which by the way, it's well documented that I've talked about myself having an eating disorder that I've had to really fight to overcome over the years. So when you say on your podcast to hundreds of thousands and if not millions of people that I am permanently doughy, that I am a ham sandwich, it's fucked and I think it can have a genuinely negative impact on other people. But that's where I'm going to leave it. I don't want anyone going after anyone because of things that were said about me. I just think that we should all try to be better. And Okay, so here's what I would say. First of all, I do sincerely apologize to Phil. And I will not talk about his body anymore, right? I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. He says it's well documented, like I'm supposed to know. I mean, I, listen, Philly, no offense, I like you, but I don't watch your show just because I don't have time. I don't watch anything. The only shit I watch on YouTube is like deep Elder Rings lore. That's right. Hell yeah. 
based. So I, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know that. I mean, I know you lost weight. I didn't, I don't, I didn't know you had an eating disorder or that, or even that it affected you, um, that much. So I apologize. I didn't know. The part that rubbed me a little, or I guess I was just like, damn, why did, eh. like he's doing this really specific call out, like against me for like, a body shaming him. Is it a little ironic that when he's talking about not body shaming people, he shows like this picture of me, which obviously is posted in jest. And I'm very comfortable with my physical appearance and stuff. I know what I, how I experience the world is not how everyone else experienced the world. I mean, it's just, a, it's just a goofy haircut. It's something that you, I look fat. You have total control over, you know what I mean? Like, I know, but why show that? It's a little like, <laughs> it, it, it don't, because he's, he's, Fuck things he's, up. He's, he's clapping at he, you a little bit. He's clapping. Okay. It, so, it was a gentle clap, though. I will. But say. why is he clapping? Is he serious or is he joking? Well, I think he's serious. No, I, 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 evidently he has a he has some body image issues that are very serious, and I think it really got under his skin that you said that. So, but I, do you under do you understand the point? Like, why use this photo of me Damn. if he's trying to make a serious point? Because it, it seems to undermine him a little bit. Because I thought we were joking the whole time. We right, were having ba- that. what is that? You hear something? Is that Shredder? Might be Shredder again. Oh. I, I they can't have him down there. They were right in the middle of doing. Oh, the, poor Shredder. So he's just there suffering. He just brought him back up, and he seemed okay for a minute. But I guess he's getting ignored too much. He's not All getting right, a, but he the, but he's fine. His attention up here. Yeah, he's fine. Right. Yeah. Where was I? Um, here's I the thing. Here's the thing: is that again, I don't know Philly D that well. I didn't know that this was affecting him. I didn't know that he has an eating disorder and stuff. But we were having like this banter about the fight, and so we were going back and forth a lot on on Twitter. Apparently, he called me a meatball. I don't remember that. Actually, we couldn't even find it, but somehow everybody has this memory of him calling me a meatball. But um, he's referencing... It actually really hurt. It actually really hurt my feelings because the, the insinuation that, like, every episode I'm, like, riding him for fucking, like, I'm talking about Philly D's weight and stuff because I frankly couldn't even remember. And, I don't know. It just really hurt my feelings. It just was so out of left field, too. Like, oh, and Ethan Klein is a fucking fat-shaming bully who needs to do better. And me and Philly, he has my number. He could have texted me. That's the part that, like, if he literally, he has never told me this. I see a lot of people saying, like, oh, Philly D always tells Ethan to stop talking about his weight, and he never listens. He's he's never done that. We text. We're on texting terms. If he texted me and was like, Ethan, can you please stop? I would have said, of course, you know, of course of course I will stop. I mean, I, the last time I remember getting into something like this with him was like two years ago with Trisha when she, I remember she said, I don't even remember what she said, but she said something offensive that he didn't appreciate, understandably. So I feel like people who don't have the context are just going to watch this and be like, oh yeah, Ethan Klein, he's an, just another piece of shit who fucking fat shames Philly D all the time. And it's like, damn, it's, I don't know. It's just so easy to put that shit on me. And everybody believes it. And it's just like, I don't know, man. He DM'd me during the Trisha thing. Yeah, but he... He didn't say, don't talk about my weight. I don't get that. Like, yeah, I ta I've talked to him a lot in the past two years, back and forth. So anyway, uh, here's what he's referencing when I said he's doughy. Or that he's a ham sandwich, just for context. Let's see. Number three. Now, and I also... Wait. Number three. This was the, the podcast we did with Idubs and Anissa. He's doughy. And we were talking about, like, who I'm going to match up against boxing. And so it was just a little banter, like, I don't know. I, I, I understand that, you know... Like, I, I, the thing that kind of shocked me, too, is I'm, always, I'm super supportive of Philly. I'm super impressed with his weight loss, and I feel like I'm always being really nice and supportive. But maybe he doesn't see that. Maybe he just sees this. So here, let me play it. To fighting, it means we'll pitch people to you. Who would you pair me up against, theoretically? Probably Philly D, right? But he's taller than me. 
How much taller? He's, he's doughy, though. He's doughy. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, he's lost... He's soft. ...a lot of weight. No, but he's, like, permanently doughy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, it's mean. Okay. I thought... I didn't... I didn't know it was affected him that much, though. I mean... Again, I was... I, we were going back and forth on Twitter about the fight. Yeah, I mean, probably. He's just got that soft, <laughs> doughy... Um, look. I wasn't even really trying to call him fat. It was more just about, like... I'm doughy the same way. Just about like the white, I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You guys know what I mean. We call that a, in my family, a ham sandwich. No, I did not even call him a ham sandwich. And by the way, I don't even want to blame Anissa because we're just, Anissa, Anissa didn't call him a ham sandwich either. We we're just kind of shooting the shit. I don't think anyone called him a ham sandwich. He is a ham sandwich. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think he has a bag. No. Yeah. Okay. But the idea was thrown around. It's rewind it time. Me too, so I'd go for that. <laughs> oh, that timing though. <laughs> so that, that's all. That's what was said about uh, was about him. You know. <sighs> and um, I guess I just people accuse me of stuff so so much. And you know, a lot of times they're right. I do do things, and I'm not good with boundaries and stuff like that. But I, and obviously, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about his weight anymore. Just when I first nope. found out I was live mm -hmm. on the member stream, and it really just caught me off guard. Here's Elo working in the background of our members now, and I also live stream as Philly D uh, destroys my being. Lena was in tears watching this, just seeing how you were so surprised taking in this info, and then Ela's just going ham in the background. Fucking great. Okay, apparently this is good content. Close the trunk. Close the That's trunk. That's the situation that disappears right now, and I also, you know what? It is so beside the point. <coughs> oh, of this by story. the way, I I opened um, Kinetic Sand because his video his videos are a little boring, and I wanted to keep people's attention span. I didn't. Well, I can't. Can we get through this without further insulting him? Now? I I I don't. I heavily disagree. There it is. See? I, I feel like he presents the news in the most adequate way. Fills the man. Fast and to okay. the point. Bro, I'm Easy just kidding. Film. What the fuck? Honestly. Like, are it... you serious? Like, this is like, I can't fucking joke. No. I can't joke that. that his show's boring. I mean, this is like. <sighs> Don't push. Don't push. The man's been on the internet for 10 years. You know, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Getting at? <sighs> it's little crybaby energy. But I respect it. I wish he texted me, but I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But here's the video. But uh, since he was mentioned, I, I kind of just want to say this to Ethan Klein. Uh, can you stop talking about my fucking weight on your podcast? Well, I personally use people saying negative things about my weight or my look. Ethan, will you please stop calling my show boring on your podcast? I'm very insecure. Okay, maybe that's not a good analogy. Sorry, everybody. Is further motivation when I'm working out to the point that I even do like David Goggins s bullshit, like like taking the audio of them calling me fat or whatever language they use and mixing it with pump up songs for my workouts. There are also tons of people that deal with weight issues and eating disorders, which, by the way, it's well documented that I've talked about myself having an eating disorder that I've had to really fight to overcome over the years. So when you say on your podcast to hundreds of thousands and if not millions of people that I am permanently doughy, that I am a ham sandwich it's fucked and i think it can have a genuinely negative impact on other people but that's where i'm gonna uh, leave it. i don't way, want this, anyone going he goes he goes it's not about me it's about all the other fat people you're hurting with your language okay or anyone because <laughs> of things that were said about me i just think that we should all try to be better and then <laughs> he, i didn't even what? realize you in the background <laughs> yeah. philly's actually coming for me philly's actually making us a, a serious Philly's being serious she right now? He was hitting those crunches pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah, she's, he put in the video, height. I'm like yeah. fat shaming him? Great form. Oh my god, what? What, did I, don't I always compliment him and say how great it is? He, what the fuck?
When did I say that? I don't know if this whole thing is worth watching. I haven't seen it. Uh, it's ten minutes long, but you get the idea. Yeah, no, that was. Pretty I, I was just devastated. I was, I was frankly, uh, I was sad because I expected to see something good. Only negative covering the story other. that I was proud of. And it happened ten days ago. So I was like, why, why are you doing this now? You want to know what my true on it? See it until no, it was my guy. Ten days. Okay, maybe it's not that long. I think he needed a thumbnail. I'm not saying that he doesn't believe what he said, but I was in the thumbnail. The first thing in the title was Ethan needs to stop. The man, you know, he had an ace in the hole for a boring fucking episode. Have we considered Philip DeFranco might be part of Nexium, and now he's coming after oh, you? Oh, we haven't. I saw someone post that theory on Reddit. That is Philly fucking interesting. Them. Amateur. He's, he's doing a PSYOP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look at the other headlines, you know, uh, amateur TikTok investigator taserized town. Nobody's clicking that. Putin is a clown. Yeah, we know. And today's news. Mm -mm. It was Ethan Klein needs to stop. So I feel like there are earthquake balloons blowing so hard. It's, um, it's almost, it's hailing in uh, Porter Ranch right now. Really? Yeah. Fuck, it's the end of the world. Yeah. AB bought his merch on Friday, so we are we're friends of the of the show. AB, you're a beautiful bastard. Yeah. I resent that he calls me a bastard all the time. I have relationships with my dad. One. Yeah, well, the bastard. Pumping you up. Like I. <laughs> None of this would have ever happened if you had gone on the hike with him. There, I fucking said it. I fucking said it. It's all. Because you wouldn't go on the fucking hike. You guys need to fucking make up because I, I've spent a lot of money on this. This is retaliatory sweat, for the so. hike. Yeah. And frankly, somewhat justified. It was one hike. It's just one hike. It's I don't just have one hike. time, Philly. I didn't. You, I, I was busy at the time. You went to Top Golf. <laughs> you went to Top Golf. I like I went to you top went to Top Golf. Yeah, I went to Top Golf at like 9 p.m. We going on a 9 p.m. hike somewhere, Zach? Yeah. That exists. I was busy at the time. I didn't have a babysitter. You got that bright ass fucking flashlight you can bring with you. I was having a, a, med a medical emergency. The kids weren't feeling well. Both of them. <laughs> Let's remember that this is the year of bridge building. It's out. And one the of year our is oldest, over. One of our oldest bridges just collapsed, like, like the London Bridge. Okay, it's down. And Maybe I'm not meant to build a, bridges. With a two-hour. Maybe I'm not a build bridger. Maybe I am just like the fucking death ship from Fifth Element. All I do is feed on hate and negativity. Right, yeah. And that's all I'll ever be. When I see a bridge, I burn it. What about Jeff Bridges? Hate him. <laughs> it's the last name. Actually, I love Jeff Bridges. He's, yeah. uh, he's got to change his name. So I don't know. I do, I am I do feel bad. I just you know I am sorry. I didn't know about the whole. I I honestly did. He says it's well documented. I mean that might be true. I, I I don't know. But I have problems with my dad. You need to stop calling me a bastard. It makes me feel worthless. Oh my god. It makes me feel worthless. Stop. It's well documented that I have problems with my dad. You're not a bastard though. I, I have. A you worthless. know he's not talking about you. I felt worthless. My dad, my, my dad, in a sense, gay. is a bastard. I felt that so it, of, it hits like home. That just based on what they told me. Yeah, but you know, he's we love Philly. He's a good guy. I don't want I don't want trouble with Philly and stuff. It just felt a Philly. little personal. It just felt a little personal. It hurt my feelings, honestly. Well, I think it hurt his feelings too. Well, I immediately texted him and I said. Dude, why did you do that? Just DM. Why didn't you just text me? Well, I'm glad you did. And then he's well. Anyway. You don't don't read his messages. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's it. You want me to stop? I'm out. I'm out. Have a, have a good night. Have a good night, Phil. Oh my god. I'm out. <laughs> I 
I, ho- I, I, his weight loss inspires me. I want to do what he did. You know, you're on your way. You've still been keeping it up, right? Yeah. Like you worked out yesterday. I remember. You yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I've been, I've been keeping up. Good I mean, you. Been, that, I feel like this is the longest stretch you've ever. No, I've been good, man. Beginning. I've been good. And it, and Philly inspired me. He's looks so good and healthy, you know, you should take a hike with him. And I mean, like here we are talking about, I called him a skinny legend. This was just in October. He says, we're skinny legends after our skinny legend hike. I didn't know that it bothered him. We were just having a goofy back and forth, you know, here he is hiking, dude. Looking awesome. He says he's looking for validation. I said, I'll validate you anytime. Come on a hike with me, you fuck face. See, I've been fucked in the face, and I resent that. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know. You see me eat that Subway sandwich? Got <gasps> fucked in the face. What long, baby? Mm-hmm. Get your balls off my face, man! <laughs> no, I don't know, but... Yeah. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. I resent that. I have always struggled with my physical appearance, and I resent. I have, uh, I have issues. I think I'm ugly, and it really upsets me. And then that fucking guy said that about me. Damn. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I feel gay right now. I felt that like no. No, I didn't mean that. That's what told me. I am black. I am Jewish. I am a Muslim. I am disabled. <laughs> I feel disabled. I am, I am disabled. I realize as I have Tourette's that I am disabled. Today I feel Qatari. Uh, I, I literally am waiting to get a handicap placard for my car. Today I feel disabled. You know what I mean? I was bullied because I had uh, red hair. I've been on the internet <laughs> long enough now. People can say whatever they want about me and, and you got to just take it with stride. That's my opinion. Of course, Look, everyone handles I'm 40, things differently. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. I'm uh, that's fat. it. I'm See, that's nailed it. Quartering nailed it. Yeah. He nailed it. You know, at the end of the day, we're all Today t- I feel uh, gay. <laughs> I, I feel gay as a result of all this shit. Gay. It's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Someone says, just stop making eating disorder jokes. When have I ever made an eating disorder joke? Don't say it. I'm, you, have I? I'm, I don't know off the top of my jokes? head, but pretty much guaranteed. But that's not, it's not like something <laughs> I'm doing. I'm not like, oh man, those You make jokes about people. everything is my point. It, it's just like, I wouldn't make a blanket statement. Okay, like okay, fine. It's possible I have, I don't remember, yeah. but it's not like a constant theme in my fucking content. Yeah, I, I would, that's fair. For those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For yeah. those of you who didn't find it to be offensive, <laughs> I'm sorry they did. Yes. Exactly. So, so many people understand me. It's nice to feel understanded. Understood. <laughs> have, a, have a good night. Yeah. So anyway, um, I wish you the best, Philly. You look great and keep it up. And that is all I will say on that. Something in your eyes Call to smile to a screen And only says goodbye And then you're gonna dance again You to feel got no reason Too easy to pretend I know you're not a fool You are not better when I shit a friend Who is the shit that I've been given So I know you wanna <laughs> dance Again, that's how I feel, Philly. Did I say, should I say something else? Or am I good? No, yeah, just end, just end it now. So <laughs> In summary, you are sorry, but you just wish he texted you first. That's the, sh- that, I mean, yeah. that's the nutshell of it. Yeah. That's understandable. That's the nutty, nitty nutty of it. Or told me, and told me sooner too, because I, I didn't know about that. I would have totally stopped, you know, because he's, he's a friend. I respect him. He's a friend of mine. You know? Yes, baby.
That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. Bro, there's nothing funny about eating disorders. I could probably find something if I looked really hard, but I would never. But that's my job, right? It's to find the funny things in life. If we can't joke about, you know. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to go there. Let's not even go there. It's not, it's not in my repertoire. I got no eating disorder material. Okay. Now, if I had a little old timey music, maybe we can <laughs> find a little something. Hey. <laughs> hey, lady. I'm keeping my eye on you. Okay, well, anyway, that's it. I, I got no hate for Philly. We're friends. I mean, I still like him. I still respect him, and that's it. Thank you, thank you. For seeing that. Thank you, thank you. Everyone says he called me a meatball, which is interesting. I saw that comment so many times, and we could not find it anywhere. I don't know if it's like a collective delusion. Mandela effect. Mandela, yeah. A Mandela? The, meat meat, the, man, the meatball effect? Just got Mandela'd. So you and Trump have such a similar personality that the meatball, meatball Ron, meatball, meatball Ron, Ron and, right? And right. I see how people that's spilled over. Yeah. By the way, I felt like we might be hitting kill switch territory. I sent the twenty thousand. Yeah, it's happening, people. And they received. They were confirmed the receipt of the money. Uh, yes, I think I saw that. You people know, are saying he did call me a meatball. Where? Like, we looked everywhere. People are saying, I remember that. Well, now I, that you said it on here, somebody will post it to the subreddit. And if you know, you know where it is, please. It always happens. I'm, we were just dying. I was just, I need to know where this happened. Meat chef. And to be frank, I am meatball shaped. You could slit, just cover me in marinara and take a bite. Put some breadcrumbs on me and I'm good to go. A fucking meatball, bro. Definitely. Lots of people are saying they remember it. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else we got. We got Philly. We got Eddie. Okay, Nick Akato versus Candace Owens. This is fucking interesting. Candace Owen is a right wing provocateur. She's a disgusting human being. Probably one of the, one of the worst human beings alive. I think that no, that's like an easy title for her. One of the worst human beings alive. I mean, she sucks. <laughs> on but... a scale of, like, Saint to Hitler. I, she's in, like, the upper percentage. Upper echelon. For sure. I'm gonna stop dissing the Nazis all Dude, the time. she wore a White Lives Matter shirt, like, she's up there. She's just a right- I'm just saying, people. there's people that, yeah. like, keep but she not chained up in somebody. their basements and, and cut off their Although fingertips. She, well, the thing is, she's not, like, killed or done any, like- As far as we know. She, right. Love. But she does ferment, like- yeah, she sucks. Like, there's shoot. I think there was a, sh and I'm, I'm, I may not be remembering correctly, but I'm pretty sure one of these shooters r was a fan of hers or referenced hers. Uh, there was really, yeah, there was. I remember that about Shapiro, with uh, I believe it was the synagogue shooting in Canada or something. He was and, like specifically cited. Anyways, and but, shooting a synagogue. I'm hazy no. on the details, but I remember some association with that. You could, well, anyway, you can look, but she, the point is she's disgusting. She's just horrible. She I had, really hate her. She has a video called Leftists Try to Blame Me for the Colorado Club Shooting. That, that, there that, 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 that. No, she was a big one. He, okay. he, he, I, yeah, the club shooting when they went and killed all the gay people. Horrific. That she was, uh, she inspired him. I believe I'm, I believe. Not 100%. Needed yeah, and. Here at Washington Post, Nazi sympathizer pled guilty to, oh, it was just a defacing a synagogue. It wasn't a shooting. But they, in the sentencing memo, the attorney said they were radicalized by Fox News, Ben Shapiro, and Breitbart News. No, but what's the, the nightclub shooting with Candy? Candy. So she's kind of the worst person ever. I mean, if sure, that, let's just let let's, let's put her up there. You know what I mean? Uh, F tier, easy. KKK Clandis Owens, some people say. I like <laughs> that. Clandy Owens. So, 
in this case, I'm actually going to ride hard for Nick. I love me and Nick are dogs. She did a segment about Nick completely unprovoked on her show, The Daily Wire. She works for Ben Shapiro. We need to we need to reclaim that acronym. They do DW everywhere. We need to reclaim that. Yeah, that belongs to D.W. Griffith. D.W. One of the least racist men of history. Well, anyway, she made a segment called Gluttonous YouTubers Literally Dying for Clicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Candace, you don't know what you're getting yourself into now, girl. And I love it. About She's met her match. <laughs> oh, she's so hateful. She's such a hateful little piece of crap. Therapy and the over therapeutic environment that we live in without discussing social media. In previous episodes, we have discussed what women are doing for attention now. They're setting up cameras and crying, pretending to be sick in some videos, or just on opening. the kitchen floor. No. Up about a bad relationship and crying, just crying for likes, not because it actually brings them any relief. To cry on social media oh, doesn't Nick, fix Nick, any other So surface. I'm just gonna watch Nick's video because he responds. Yeah, that'll to the whole be thing. less. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta see the thumbnail though. Can you guys send me the thumbnail? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about your encounter with God. Let me see. I can probably find it. By the way, lady, your show sucks. You want uh, Nick's thumbnail? No, I want to show what I want to see the thumbnail she made about Nick. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Because I bet you it's fire. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, okay. Well, that's an accurate representation of him, to be fair. Yeah. Like, that is kind of pretty, pretty accurate. forward, right actually. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's, that's fair. That is what he's like. Nice little plug to the <laughs> Cheesecake Factory, too. <laughs> Good odd. Okay, so um, Nick posted a mukbang in response to Candace where he watched her video while doing a chicken sandwich, hot wing, garlic wing, and fries from Wingstop. Love that. Uh, Nick's little dance message to Candace before his reaction. So what is this? It was just him doing a little, little dance beforehand. Olivia thought it was funny. So this is a, his, his initial message. And now he, does he, he just wears this, uh, what do you call that thing? What? Oxygen tank? No, no, no. I, I think that's what C CPAP. Oh. Is that the thing you wear when you're sleeping to stop, su uh, not suffocate, right? Yes. There's CPAP machines and BPAP machines. Gotcha. This is just shtick, right? Like, there's no reason to wear this when you're awake. I mean, if he has a situation where he snores when he's awake, I mean, I've... How do you snore when you're awake, Zach? I mean, look at the poor guy. Right. I mean, maybe if you have... Yeah, if you have sleep apnea, maybe sometimes you just randomly fall asleep. Mixed with a little bit of narcolepsy. He doesn't have, he doesn't have narcolepsy. No, I'm just saying I was, I was just trying to, if, I was trying to back up it, that. I feel like if you get in a relaxed state... You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can totally do uh, your right. flow state. Yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> all right. I, let me watch. Let me watch this. Committing acts of violence by not recognizing my identity. Oh my god! And this is a medical awesome. mystery as to it's mostly water. It's <laughs> okay. So he's doing his. He's doing his thing. Yeah, doing the making show. the best of it. So here, let's see. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. She's getting ready to respond. The old candy. She didn't know what the power she was fighting, forcing with here. Make sure you, you, you protect your hands and you cover up. <laughs> you don't want to disturb the peace. <sighs> Covering up for this lady. Lady. Gluttonous YouTuber is literally dying for clicks. Can you believe to dying? Keeping it squeaky clean. Dude, you're you're like half naked in most of the video. I mean shirtless. I'm perfectly healthy. Number one. Yes. Number two. You're. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna mention his weight. As you guys know. As you guys know, it'd be totally out of pocket for me to mention his weight. He is first and foremost a human being, of course, uh, and he's entitled to, and he has a, he's beautiful, he's healthy, and, um... She's a human!
he's a human being, goddammit. He's more than just his weight. As you could clearly tell from watching all of his videos, it's not the main part of his identity. He's so much more. Oh, here she Using comes. Hello. We have the... Olivia's uh, back. Our, our tea expert. I told her, I messaged her to come up if she could. Oh, 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 for the tea? Yeah. Well, she's the, she's the Nick expert. Yeah, that's a good... That's and she a good. did the write-up on this whole video, so she she's mm -hmm. the most... Oh, I forgot to mention. Downstairs, we're doing a photo shoot for Teddy Fresh. I walked in, and Olivia is slurping on a $23 Erewhon <laughs> smoothie. Uh -oh. No. No, yes. no, no. It wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. I you swear and there Sam. were five that were ordered. F and how much was it for five? Go ahead. I want to talk about it. It was $130. <laughs> we're not talking about this. Dude, $130. I have that's, Dude, that's mine. was so good, though. It was the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> was it as good the second time? No. No, it wasn't. Really? Hello, Olivia. Was it a letdown? It was. The first one did hit. Bummer. Hard. Yeah. It was so Finally he well blended. It. it was good. It was yeah. good. It wasn't as blended as well, huh? They probably weren't used to five people ordering it, so they didn't know the proportions <laughs> probably. <laughs> what what do we that? do? We don't have the ingredients. I do have a secret though. Ela said it was one of the best movies she's ever had. Oh, she would say that. She always she did. goes against uh -oh. me. She, did. she never uh -oh. supports me. It was good, you know, I admit. Here it is. Here is the traitors having a laugh. Dude, there's there's literally homeless people, and you guys are drinking twenty three dollars. It's smoothie. disgusting. I take it all back. It you is never capitalism has fucking ruined society. It's okay. true. The decadence. This is literally like the scene with Joker setting the the mountain of cash on fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're you're right. Is the thing is I have I have no argument. How much would you? I'd pay ten, maybe ten bucks is probably closer to reasonable, which is already expensive. Yeah, right for a smoothie. I don't know. Prices have gone up a lot though. I don't think I would get it again if I'm being completely honest. If it tasted like that and it cost eleven dollars, I would. You go eleven. Yeah, I'd go up to eleven. I'd spend eleven dollars on a smoothie that I really liked. Yeah, that's still a lot, but like if it's Not if it's as good as that Shetty smoothie, I'm paying. By the way, we were saying it was a twenty dollar. It's actually twenty three. Right? Yeah, more than twenty. They, they, the twenty wasn't cutting the margin. Yeah, they had I, to raise the price a little I bit. I am ashamed. I'm ashamed. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding you. No. Have a, have a good night. It was a delicious smoothie. Treat yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, treat yourself know. Wednesday. That's true. Well, I want to treat myself. So anyway, here's Nick. Uh, let's do this. Degrading me. For clicks to your channel, I've never spoken to you. I've never made content about you. I never. I'm, I'm having deja vu. <laughs> Has this happened before? <laughs> I swear I've seen this exact video. Before. Why would you think that? I don't know. Just uh, getting flashbacks. Spoke to you, and here you are writing my name for clicks. To, you're a political commentary channel. What do I have to do with your world? Nada. Is your channel suffering that much? Have you run things uh, out of things to it talk about? It actually is, Nick. That you have to yeah. talk about me and my her, life? Her views are not, are definitely straggling far behind all yeah. the other shitbags. Yeah, he, he does a quick check at some point in the mm. video. So you're, you're definitely right on the money there, Nick. I'm gonna give a and like I'm not, to Nick. Actually, I'm thriving. And you can't say otherwise. And I'm not gluttonous. I barely eat that much. And there's actually not that much here. <laughs> so that's the first thing. So let's just play. Actually, let me have a bite of this first. Because this is my first time. <gasps> Ooh. That's so basic looking, though. Just to criticize the food. Like, it can't be that good. It's fried chicken and bread. It can't be that we good. We know what it is? Like, what place you ordered? Wingstop. Oh, okay. Like, there's no sauce. No pickle. I guess there is a little pickle here. Wait, that's his first time having a chicken sandwich? From Wingstop. I find that hard to believe. He's lying. He's not being honest with us. Hi, Zach. Hi, how you doing, Olivia? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. How's everything? You Great. Catch normal? up after the show? It's kind of yeah. Sorry, I just awkward I wanted there. to. I just had to make sure he he looked a little sad for a sec. I was making sure he was okay. I, I really appreciate that. Thanks. Of course, that's of course. nice. Of you. Friends are here for you. Oh. God, I w actually, he makes me want to eat that shit, though. Mm. Like, mm. I oh, want boy. me a chicken sandwich. Here we go. 
<laughs> I need me some Popeyes right now. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is actually great how he does this because Candy's being a little piece of crap trying to talk shit on him, and he's like, "Yeah, this is content. I'm gonna eat and watch your dumb video." <laughs> Popeyes is better. I'm just gonna tell the truth because I'm always that is a honest. lot of ranch, Nick. It needs a little ranch. <laughs> like, like I know he enjoys food, but even for someone that really loves food, that's a lot of ranch. It's like it's like that meme where it's like just a shot of vodka and like she pours in half the bottle. You ever seen that? Before? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she has no idea. It's a little bit of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sure we'll start the candy video soon. Oh. I'm sure this the candy video is going to start at any second. Mm. The fries are good. We have some timestamps in the docket, mm. unless you're enjoying this. I don't know if I'm. Oh, I can't believe this lady. It, yeah. yeah. Oh. Stop. Never mind. Mm. Let's hear what she has to say about me. Thank you, Anna. Which is not nice Please stuff. Do. By the way, can I also say. If you go over here you and you zoom in person. Let me tell to you. her tags, me and never Nick. being able to get through a video, pausing. Me and Nick? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We, 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 we should be friends. We're soulmates. I think, yeah. I, I third that. I want, to, I want Nick out here. I want to mukbang with him. <laughs> me too. Maybe someday. But you gotta to build the bridges. Thing. Well, this is it. We're building bridges now. I'm full. Okay. We're laying the team block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he call you? He named you Ashley, Olivia. Is that what he calls you? Yes, I was Ashley, and Ela was Hildy. <laughs> right, <laughs> Hildy. Funny. Drama YouTuber mukbang. Oh, she did Chelsea tags. Chelsea Lynn mukbang. What a Trisha boomer! She put tags on her video. Trisha Paytas, she puts Trisha pa like who's doing this? These tags, it's like Holy our tags. We don't tag our videos. No, it's just, just like kidding. so old school. Paytas, Muffin, King of gluttony. Who's looking for gluttony? Gluttony. They're like, mm, gluttony. Oh, I want to watch this Candace Owen video. I want to watch researching the sin of gluttony. Yeah. Right now. Oh, mm. Mukbangs. Mukbang Chinese person. It says that. Excuse me, Korean. Mukbang Korean. Mukbang seafood. There's no seafood in this video. Right. Gluttony. That's misleading. Candace Owens. <laughs> <laughs> she must be using like Social okay. Blade. You know how they they like will help you find tags. That's awesome though. Nick mm -hmm. is really he taking the dub here. Our videos do have some default tags before we get called out. By the way. Oh, it's just like. But it's like HP podcast, podcast, Ethan Klein. It's not like gluttony fat guy with an ugly not. wife. <laughs> yeah. But just just to say it, <laughs> what would it be the though? Fat guy with an ugly wife, um, Jewish uh, YouTuber, idiot Jew, um, greedy Israeli YouTuber, clown, um, um, moron, dipshit, fat dumb, asshole. annoying YouTuber, so annoying, fat man bad, fat man bad, yeah, <laughs> hate, hey. boomer, okay, gluttony, <laughs> gluttony. <laughs> Meatball. Just all the all so the this lady. We can hardly talk about therapy and the over therapeutic environment that we live in without discussing social. This is pretty beautiful. How he? I mean, she's trying to lecture, and he's <laughs> it's, like, he's "It's a just, very funny." A, yeah. yeah, no, this is art. It is. It's a political statement. Yeah, it is. It very is artistic. art. I, I think it is very. He is very smart. He's very clever with this content. Media. In previous episodes, we have discussed what women are doing for attention now. They're setting up their cameras and crying, pretending to be sick in some videos, or just opening up about a bad relationship. And Is she calling me a woman? Did you, how does he <laughs> fart on command like that? <laughs> ripped one. Oh my god. He's good at what he does. Why is a video about me prefaced by women trying to get attention? I'm not. Ugh. Well, actually, you don't know. I, I, I have a hard time with the, the food in his mouth. Crying for attention. Wait, I um, don't cry you for know, attention. Chad's gonna call you out on that. What? <laughs> you know who else I says that? Maybe I open my mouth, but I don't like. Dude, are you serious? Come on. What? Like, dude, <laughs> when have I ever showed you this? Or I mean, that that one is light. That one's light. Let me show you. You're a fucking hypocrite. Shut up, Keemstar. Fucking hypocrite. All right, now I'm just going back. 
because you all are really talking shit. What do you think I chew? I show food when I chew? That's not. You don't show it. Yeah, just the sound. Yeah, right, okay. Great. That's not the TikTok same thing, to be man. Shut down. Here, tell me, do I do this, Dad? <laughs> no, no, I guess not. Are you gonna say I do this? No. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, government. Every year, something comes out. We're gonna be on TikTok. It's a Chinese spy. If the Chinese are spying on my TikTok, they don't deserve to be there. <laughs> I don't know. So hurry up. Get it banned, would you? I actually don't like it. And there's a lot of lies on TikTok and a lot of haters. So please, ban the app. Do it. I just saw on the news some some other of uh, Josh Hickey Bicky from whatever Arkansas's Missouri somewhere over there. All right, I'm gonna to go to the timestamps because I'm not trying to watch a 45 minute video. <sighs> Mr. Crazy People. Well, you now have individuals who are quite literally. Dude, what a king! He's drinking water. I mean, let's be real. That's that's good. Is that, it, it's probably Sprite. No, I don't see any I bubbles. It's water. I'm just kidding. I don't. Mm. He's Nectar drinking water. He's fine. He's healthy. He drinks water. <laughs> He's healthy. He always says it's a uh, it's uh, water weight. I water weight. weight. Yeah. Unrelated. I just got Rick rolled so fucking bad. Someone said they they found the meatball clip. It's oh, just Rick Roll. Fucking got you. Got me so fucking good. They God got damn you. it. I got so excited. I Thanks for looking though. Yeah, yeah. That just means you're super into it, so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Find that meatball, AB. Have a have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> for clicks i'm not going to believe that this is a trend but there are people that are feeding themselves right we talked yesterday about the seven cardinal sins well gluttony is now taking place for clicks you know what else is a sin pride is being an asshole a sin can we, like can we work being that an there? asshole probably falls into one of the categories wrath she is very rational. Yeah. She's very rageful. Yeah. Like, let's not even bring the sins into this, okay? Eating a lot is probably the, the most harmless sin there is, you know? What do we got here? Whatever. Indulging, I guess. I don't know. Why do they gotta make it all complicated? Oh, different deadly sins throughout history. Shut up. There's seven. Here they are. Lust, gluttony, greed. Probably greed. You could put greedy. Greed greed. Yeah. 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 Sloth. No. no. Wrath? Yes. Envy? I think she is a little envious of Nick's success. It could be. She's like, why is, yeah, why, why? And I pride. Or hubris. Definitely yeah. prideful. She is prideful. No question. At least, at least four. Pride is not a virtue. <laughs> He's also gay, which I know she hates. Everyone over at the problem. Daily Wire is very anti all things uh, uh, LGBTQ+. Really? Mm. A month? Dude, that's still, that's Jordan Peterson is such a fucking psycho. It's awesome. I am talking in particular about people who have become famous by binge eating in front of the cameras. So me? Is that, is this, is this about me? First of all, this is not a binge. This is a regular meal. <laughs> so get your facts straight, honey. Number two. I sadly believe him on that. I have to eat to survive. Right. One example is a young man named Nicholas Perry. Now, well, he's interesting because he actually arrived on the scene, did this, his first video on YouTube, talking about how he was a vegan his whole life, and he now disavows veganism. And then that... Okay. Candace, you, get, you, you gotta get some new writers. Because there's so many wrong things about this, I can't even, I don't even know where to start. Number one, that's not my first video. Number two, in that video, I'm not disavowing veganism. In this video, I'm eating 5,000 calories of cheese. Because I worked out <laughs> extra hard by cleaning the staircase. Because right. we had a staircase in that apartment. <laughs> and I almost tripped. There's dust bunnies running all over the place. So, lies, lies, lies. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But you're a reporter. Gee. Who's someone that's She's always going after the reporter. mainstream media? So having portions that's, of ramen just, or a stack of pancakes sorry, wait, at IHOP. This is back in 2000. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, just anybody talking about Nick in general? I feel like if anybody would be curious about how he got that name, even in the first place, it was because he was originally vegan. His Nick first Ocado. video wasn't disavowing veganism. 
No, he was vegan for like a minute online. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. 2017, and today he eats in excess of 10,000 calories in front of the camera in videos that are in- Since when? 10,000 is rookie numbers, I would imagine, for Nick. I think there's probably close to 10 right here on his lunch. I've never, ripped except again. for like 12 or 13 times, eaten 10,000 calories Wait, in seriously? a city. seriously? Yeah, and you farted. Are... No, but I... How many calories do you think is on the table right well, there? Well, he never, he never finishes He doesn't eat at really. all? Yeah. Okay. He's like done challenges before. Skinny. Skinny. Skinny king. For skinny special rare occasions, extra treats. I can still say skinny legend, right? Just not about Phil? Uh, I think just yeah, yeah just, not, just about not, not about Phil. Okay, so Nick is a skinny legend. Well, I'm 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 going to retract that statement. I don't know. <sighs> I'll let you. Make I'm gonna call. say it about Nick. Nobody's gonna fucking stop. Well, me. Nick identifies as skinny. Okay, yeah, good. If he, yeah. So I think that you calling Nick a skinny legend, there he you does go. identify that way. Okay, good. I'm not even being funny. Those were those are rare occurrences for me to actually eat that much. There's not even ten thousand calories in front of me right here. <clears throat> and you know what? I have to eat to survive. And you don't know. You don't know my body. You don't know my blood work. You don't know my doctor. So what if I require it? What if I have a malabsorption issue <laughs> with like iron or something? I can only imagine. Or zinc. That. What a blood. Some people require blood blood more boosts of meat. Looks like for him, sir. Your blood is one hundred percent fry, <laughs> deep fryer oil. Yeah, we love that for him though. What do you mean YouTube allows this? Oh, sh I'm on YouTube for al allowing what? What did I do that was so wrong? Did I hurt anyone? No. Did I target anybody like you're doing to me? No. Nope. Am I, you know, diagnosing strangers on the internet for clicks while nope. saying, oh, Good what point. they do's for clicks, what they do's for clicks? But mm. look at me. True. Look at me. I'm trying to write my name and say that I'm committing s on camera. What? That's so degrading. Especially if you already have in your head that you think that I have depression, and now you're gonna put out there, oh yeah, he's just gonna so. Oh yeah, he's so. What if I? What if that really triggered me? Luckily, I don't have. He's but bleeping depression. Mm-hmm. Jeez, man. Um, his hairline is very nice. He got that like comic book hairline. Mm-hmm. He's got like, it's really nice. Pretty perfect. Yeah, it's like a perfect like. It almost looks like the McDonald's arches. This man ate so much McDonald's, his hairline turned into an M. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but that's good. Yeah, that's good. he's got that Mick hairline. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know. More things so that they survive. So shame on you. You don't know nothing about me. But you haven't even watched any of my videos. I never finish the food in my videos. Sometimes yes, but most of the times no. And I give it out into the needy and the poor when I'm done. What do you do with, when you're done your food? You throw it into the trash, most likely. I actually have been feeding the homeless for seven years with my scraps. <laughs> it doesn't I sound that nice when he says it like that. But I'm sure it's edible food. Yeah. Yeah. Have some compassion. Titled, I hate myself as one example. Uh, goodbye, YouTube and life. Or celebrating our 700 pound milestone. Now, of course, when you what's wrong with those titles? It's my life. This hers. She's so pathetic, though. The video she's made is like so lame. It's not even interesting. Calls her irrelevant. <sighs> I'd be like, oh, but I actually care about you. Oh, I'm so you don't give a crap about me. They're trying to make money off of me. Make your own content. Make your own content. I'm original. I make my own content. That's a really good point. I have tremendous respect for people that, because I, I, I mean, we do that, but not, not that much. So I do respect people that get out there and actually sure. create the content. Absolutely. That's hard to do. And it's, you're putting yourself out there, so we tip the scale to Nick. I mean, hat. I mean. 
Make your own content. Oh no, I am your content. Because if you were to make a video about yourself, no one would watch. So thank you for, I let, I, you know, I admire that about you, Miss Owens. I admire you about that. At least you're not gonna sit here and pretend and act that you give a about me. Thank you. Uh, that's that's actually really nice. Doesn't matter. He's raking in millions, and this is going to go on. Clearly, I'm not though. I'm not millions. <laughs> he pro I I understand he does pretty well on OnlyFans. It seems like like people, you know. His videos get a lot of views. Oh, but yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot unsee the McDonald's arch on his forehead now. This yeah. man is. <laughs> Chat called it the McCaroline. Yeah, the McCaroline <laughs> for sure. I actually care about you. Oh, I'm so you don't give a crap about me. They're trying to make money off of me. Wait, make your own content. Make your but anyway, so um, his estimating earnings is between seven. That can't be right. Just on OnlyFans. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I thought he'd be making more. I mean, it could. Be How do they know that? A lot of money, though. Wait, it says his estimated. Well, it's far from a million, though. Estimated earnings is somewhere between seven thousand and seventeen thousand. Just a quick Google search, but I yeah. mean, those things. They, yeah, very yeah. wildly in accuracy. Yeah. So that he doesn't like talking about the numbers. Apparently, <sighs> that's fine. It's his. It's, it's his option. Nobody has to t discuss that stuff. Um. So what happened? So is it not worth watching um, Candy's original video? I don't really think so. She had a response video as well, but uh, pretty boring. It's boring. Through. No wonder nobody watches her dumb, boring fucking podcast. It's all dumb. That's right. This outfit is giving some kind of energy. She's wearing suspenders? Interesting. Why is she wearing suspenders? Is it... Yeah, I don't know. Do you like it? I mean, she's in a play from the 1920s. <laughs> she's doing Oklahoma. She has a dress for her so after. She's like, I'm playing a character from the turn of the century that hates gay people and minorities. <laughs> oh, Literally. wait, that's today. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> she's cosplaying. You're a political commentary channel. What do I have to do with your world? Nada. Is your channel... Look at what a talentless hack. <laughs> I swear you read my fucking mind. These people have no fucking comedic bone in them. They have no talent. She's, They're just angry. Yeah. That's yeah. all they have. <laughs> totally dead inside. I'm angry, but at least sometimes I'm funny. Yeah, yeah every once in a while. But sh they just get paid to be angry. They have no talent. Oh, suffering that much? Have you run things out, out of things to talk about? That you have to talk what about me you? and my life? He's imitating his hand movements. And I'm not dying, actually. I'm thriving. And you can't say otherwise. And I'm not gluttonous. I barely eat that much. And there's actually not that much here today. And she's not even saying truthful things. Everything under the sun and a bunch of calories for... See, Candy doesn't realize she got pulled into the metaverse with these, the meta reactions. Uh -huh. And here I am now. I'm joining the fun. At this point, we have four videos on here. I love that. Hopefully someone will watch this. Nick, watch this. Yeah. Do a mukbang to this. <laughs> profit, right? How do you know if I have the or not? At what point are you going to comment? If I want to watch Nick Ocado, go to his channel. What is she wearing? I can't get past it. <laughs> Chad said it looks like she polished her shoes. <laughs> She polishes shoes. She's like an old, old timey, huh? It, it's surprising too, because she's usually pretty well dressed. Like mm. she's, she's yeah. fairly fashionable, and this one is a bit of a miss. I don't know, but like a train conductor, like a newsie, <laughs> a newsie, a newsie, Slay Queen. Breaking news: Nick Ocado eats too much. Slay Queen. She needs a little cat. You just look at someone and be like, wow, you, you might eat a lot of food, so therefore you have this, 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 and this. So becoming depressed in front of the world, he's essentially killing himself on camera slowly. I don't even understand. If people were oh, the for Zoom. spreading things at work. We caught him. We caught him, Shut everybody. Closed. Verified. Shut thing, Larry That's King. YouTube's. She looks like Larry King. Oh, Larry King. There it is. Through. There it is. Larry <laughs> there King's it dead, is. right? Uh, yes. Just recently. Shout out. 
Listen, just because Larry life. King's dead doesn't mean you're ready to make a move on the <laughs> on the throne. Policy. Larry King January coming for Larry King's throne. Twenty twenty one. You're like Candace Squire. Nice. Thank you. Nice. What's lower than Squire? Candace Peasant. Yeah, Squire's the the bottom rung for Yeah, Squire. Squire. So that was a good one. That was a good one. Now, did you verify if I eat 10,000 calories a day? No. Did you verify if I have depression? No. Did you verify if I'm crazy? No. <laughs> 10,000 calories in front of the camera and look at him. No, now. I don't. In front of so much McDonald's, I can't even. I'm just getting, I, this is cringing now. <laughs> like, I know exactly what's happening. She She's sitting down with no preparation and she's forcing a reaction. Yeah. Because they, she needs to post content. She, and um, this is just horrible. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. Explain to you if you're not one. <laughs> Yeah, quite the rebuttal the there. Making Can't believe I'm saying this, but she could take a tip from you. Pause the video. You gotta add some content. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. She had some zooms in there. The pause. The pause. That meta, ain't enough. The pause meta protects me. Yeah. I'm not taking a pause. It really does. Like when we when we're talking about fair use, the amount of pausing and adding of comment. Like when we did it first, Matt Haas, we counted the amount of pausing and the amount of commentary in between. So, I think Nick needs to sue Owen. But I can't even explain to you if you're not one. Yeah, quite the rebuttal there, making entirely no sense. I don't know if he's doing that for funsies, but asking us if we verified whether you ate 10,000 plus calories, you just admitted you did. You said you did it for special occasions, whatever that means, and we watched. You idiot. Oh my god. This is not an god. exclusive. This is Oh my god. We caught you in a lie, Nick. You have eaten t shut up. What are you talking about? Watch those videos of you actually doing that in one sitting, consuming ten thousand calories. We really need multi camp for this. I need a side shot for this shit. No. Did we verify if you're crazy? Which by I the think way is like that that 10 degrees off axis from the original. It's like, it's, it's not the bit, same shot. It's because she got the smallest studio. Right. Her show sucks. Nobody <laughs> watches it. There's not enough space for a full uh, side yeah, show. Yeah. That can be pretty much confirmed if you're willing to sit in front of a camera and consume 10,000 calories for clicks. Have we verified whether or not you're depressed? Well, I, can I do say think he genuinely enjoys it. So this claim is for clicks. Like, I would do that off camera. And sometimes I have. But if you're eating that kind of food day in and day out and you're doing it because you want to get Actually, you know what? Can we get some kinetic sand going? Because she is boring. Just put something up there for me. Yeah, thank you. Achieve some level of fame. We can probably assume that at the very least you are suffering from some sort of internal sadness. You can't be happy eating like that every single thank day. You for the and sand. while you may have people that are cheering you, you're so boring. Who's even listening? You're not even make like you're not. This is so pointless. What? How did anyone watch this? He is definitely trolling. Okay, somebody knows. Everyone's like he's doing it for comedic effect. He's absolutely loving the attention you gave him. He's having fun with you. So she's the only idiot in the room that doesn't get it. Go more, go more. These people that have bizarre fetishes, I guess the fetish would be watching people commit suicide slowly. I am going to be a kind individual and tell you that you need to stop and that you can get that same sort of attention from being healthy. Yeah, right? just a little subtle enough is nice. You could, you could actually now say, change my mind, just like you changed your mind from being vegan and then you decided that you were going to go the other way and indulge yourself, you can change your mind again and say, I'm going to be the Are fittest person ever. Like, and you can make videos of you on the treadmill and walking slowly. Dude, our building is about to collapse, bro. No. It's shaking so much. Until you can start to run until you can sprint, right? I don't, I mean, just, we want to see that journey. I love before and after, right? You are at the before, and I don't want you to die. People that are following you, they do want you You're to die. So they they are commenting and encouraging you and pretending this isn't even good that hate it's entertaining. Videos. It's not Can we get some power washing? 
I need at least two feeds to make this watchable. Yeah, one sec. I, I have to wait because I can't. These are dark, sinister people. I'm not in that camp. And I want to know that the reason why I comment on this is because <laughs> yeah, just, there is... Yeah, can you mute? Yeah, can you just mute it. <laughs> or turn it down. I yeah, like that. A little bit. I like the sound. Personally. Yeah, I agree. That is really satisfying. An undertone in uh, to politics, of course. What, what we are talking about in terms satisfying. of the psychology of individuals Dang, that are being raised up online on social media. Uh, what ends up happening is it That's informs smart. policies that we wow. have. Wow. Right? And Hollywood is necessary. Is are they really that good? The power politics. washing thing. Uh, what we see happening on they social are. media, people that are creating and finding oh, stardom on, on TikTok and yeah, on YouTube for these sorts to, of behavior uh, will eventually be attached to politics. And so we have to always uh, like comment some, uh, like on culture. Stuff. I consider yeah, let, what let you are doing bit, to be something that is cancerous oh, in our culture. As they I said in, most of uh, in my earlier video, obesity Damn. is and has See, always been the number one killer in this country. That was really annoying. I want you to get. The help that you there was need. a piece so that they refused the power wash. Friends, Look at this. Okay, what? Oh, why you are you that? That is so annoying. So annoying. That is annoying. Send each other videos back and forth like a little oh, that's YouTube rap battle. Moving dirty on, horse. you guys, to something. And now she's important she's for you to know. I, I was very enough. surprised. Okay, that was good. Okay, a little so. over halfway through. I actually really enjoyed that. Once we put on all the. Yeah. Yeah, it was super enjoyable. Once the my eyes. Once I couldn't hear her or see her. I was loving it. Wow, that is Look really at how nice. good that is, That's, dude. That is actually really something. That is something, isn't it? I love the kinetic sand the most. That's all I pay attention to. I'm actually... I like the kinetic sand, but these are hitting me different. I am with you, Ethan. I think my favorite are the... The, wash the power washing videos. Yeah, yeah. Very sad. That is super impressive, man. What a machine. Turning back time, you know? Anyway, thanks for the video, Candice. Really hard-hitting stuff there. Have a, have a good night. <laughs> have a good night. Congratulations, Nick, on trolling Candice. Uh, you did good there. As you could see, Candy, I also have my own shots. So, like, you're not that impressive. Okay? Guess what? I could say, I could say, I'm going to talk shit about you. Daily Wire is just a bunch of bigoted, hateful pieces of crap. Everybody there sucks. And I can do it in two different camera angles. That show, The Leftovers, See? which is a great show, by the way. Wait, who's that? Matt Walsh. Oh, he's talking about something else. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, so Matt Walsh sucked my dick in this angle, too. And Candace. I can't say suck my dick to her, that's vulgar. Which is a great show, by the way. And then, can you even move it to a total side profile? Because that's the ultimate flex. Because Candace shoots hers out of a, out of a broom closet. That's why they can only get that angle. But as you guys can see, we have a big spacious office where we can get total, actual angles here. Yeah, we're working it as we speak here, guys. Crazy angles coming up. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Candace is crying right now. Hmm. Yes, the tears are about to come down. Why does Ethan have such great angles? A perfect 90 degrees. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Back to the front camera. Candace Owens is a hateful piece of shit. Now I'm over here. See, I got it too. Better <laughs> angles than you. Everybody, join the party. Let's eat some wing stop chicken sandwiches. Candace, you're a hateful piece of crap. Woo! And you're super boring. Which is the biggest crime of all, let's be real. Boring, boring. Even your fans don't like you. Do you think she tries to hide that she was buddy buddy with Kanye? Like right before he said, We gotta stop dissing the Nazis? No, that's what, well, she's happy there. Okay. 
look at all the motion it can capture. You probably have to sit still. You can't, you can't move like this, can you? <laughs> Suck on that, Daily Wire. You suck, dude. You go, you ain't got shit compared to us. Yeah, you see all that motion? You'd be, you'd be completely out of frame. Completely out of frame. And you're out of line. Shame on you. There it is. Thank you, guys. Have a, have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one more story I want to do. We've probably been going for almost three hours, right, Dan? I was just typing that to you. So there's this YouTuber who... Brent Riviera, or I guess he's like a TikToker, YouTuber, whatever, influencer. He's... You guys probably recognize him. He's pretty popular. He's so annoying. He looks like... like such a douche. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I n know this person from high school, and they're s just a douche. Well, he you know, he reminds me of the old school. Like, I, I didn't think this, like, genre existed anymore, but apparently it's still very popular of these fake prank. Like, doesn't he remind you of a uh, prank invasion or like dudes like that? It does, but his his target audience is young girls, so it's like a whole different beast. I see. Are you crazy? He started on Vine. Mind? Yeah, he was a Viner. Another right. Viner. Mm -hmm. He also has a sister who's famous. They're like a whole family. Yeah, here they are. And so, well, my suspicions were right. He is a douche. <laughs> <laughs> So there's this YouTuber. He has 25 million subscribers on YouTube. What kind of content does he make? I'm curious. Let's he, see. He's like a YouTube uh, Mr. Beast type wannabe, I guess. Him and the other guy, actually, that's involved in this story. He, I, I, he's just a trend rider. Mm -hmm. He's just doing the Mr. Beast trend right now. Yeah. You're a dick rider. You're gets, a dick sucker. How about my fucking dick? He gets dick? a lot of views, though. He's overdoing the soy face a little bit, don't you think? Like, it's a little too... He's transcended into, like, uh... Estrogen face. Huh. <laughs> Skip the, yeah, it's He's not, just, invented it's a not new... just the soy, it's just straight to, yeah. Uh, also, apparently he clickbaited kissing his sister. That's what I'm saying. It's, <laughs> it's just Chris again. Sister kissy day. Here's his- What's your argument? This video has 63 million. <laughs> 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 a 63 million. Uh, <laughs> YouTube channel, so you guys love. Right, let's say the Disney Channel. You don't have to be do that. Actually, he started a company where he said he wanted to be the Disney Channel of the internet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah he nailed it. Mm -hmm. As we know, all the people who came out of Disney were super well adjusted <laughs> and kissed their siblings. Right, that's common. Shout out. I pick up my little sister Lexi, and for some reason, you guys like when she gets me back. So today, I'm gonna be doing. See, I can't believe what I'm watching. I can't. Okay, let's keep watching. <laughs> let's see. Uh, so starting now, we are going to be doing the pause challenge, and this challenge is going to last all week. So it all starts right now for this entire week. Are you ready, Lexi? Yeah. Oh, I have one for them right now. Pause this video and like it before it starts. Hey! Who's ready for this? I am. All right, here we go, Lexi. Play. Hey, Lexi, pause. Friend, friend. Oh. No, no. It is, it's all fake, obviously. I don't even need to say that. Who cares? Anyway. Oh, it's ever flowing. No, stop, stop, not the stop, cereal. Stop, stop. Oh, no. no. She's right, pouring right, it. No, she's pouring it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna drip. Okay, friend. It on her. Do not waste that sweet milk. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no, oh it's all God. food related. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He got you good, dude. No way. Oh, no way. Anyway, whatever. It's, it's, it's content Yo. for kids. But his, new, oh. indecency. his newer stuff is, let's see, extreme hot versus extreme cold. So you got a budget now? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of crazy just how much he's copying Mr. Beast. I mean, he's far from the only yeah. one, right? Yeah, he's far from the only but one. But not just Mr. Beast. He's been called out by small creators for, like, completely stealing their ideas, like, word for word, copying oh. what they say. I send a TikTok in the Discord. 
Oh, right. I think I did see something about this. Like title, thumbnail, 100% ripoff. Let's you see. know you've made it when a creator with over 100 million social media followers takes inspiration from one of your videos. Check it out. I've got a notebook and I'm going to go to a fancy restaurant and act like a food critic. Let's see if they treat me any differently. I have a notebook and I'm going to go to a fancy restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. I booked a lot. Bro, if you're going to steal from someone, at least change the words. My God. He's stealing that! Reservation here at a Michelin star restaurant in Hong Kong. Put the lunch reservation at a Michelin star restaurant. I'll start the meal like after Loki while I tried the first one. What is wrong with you, dude? And, and, I, and I kept it pretty Loki while I tried the first couple of appetizers. After taking some pictures and giving it a few minutes, I whipped out the notebook. I whipped out the notebook. Ever since I took out my notebook, you see, it's been watching me like hot. Oh, since I took out my notebook, the waiters have not stopped looking over. You can see the waiters chat a little bit back and forth. By the way, this whole concept that somehow writing in a notebook is going to th make them think you're a food critic is so stupid. Holy fuck, dude. Like, the only people that walk around with, with notebooks are food critics. Yeah. It's like a cartoonish thing, like, ooh, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to write the reviews in my notebook for the New York Times. <laughs> And I start to notice a big shit. The waiters are talking about me right now. The manager comes up to my table, gives me his card with his personal cell phone number, and tells me to give him a call whenever I need a reservation. The manager gave me his business card and some complimentary dessert. I keep churning out that nuanced analysis while they bring. I had to take note of it. Am, am I just a, like why? Also, is it, a day. Why is it fast forwarded like that? Just so that they probably could fit it all in one video. Because because it's time, boring. God, at shit. the time, I think TikToks were only a minute long. Probably, my guess. Um, mm. aren't you is that semi demonic? I thought I heard like. It's Anu. I thought I heard like a. Oh, never mind. It sounded demonic for a minute. <laughs> the ghost of George Michaels. <laughs> um, I've also seen he steals a bunch of other like uh, title and thumbnails and stuff too. I don't know if you've seen anything like that. I'll check. But anyway, a few weeks ago, Rivera Rivera was confronted by a fellow YouTuber, Tyler Oliviera. They have such a similar name. They should be buddies. I and he's also a big YouTuber. He has 3 million subs, almost. And um, he ran into Brent. Brent is kind of a douchey name. Love all the Brents out there, but... Every uh, person I know named Brent is a fucking dickbag. Right. Yeah. Mm. So Brett. there it is. I'm onto something. Yeah. yeah exactly. But but every Brett I've met is nice, though. Brett. Mm. Brett's are nice. That's the thing. I was about to say, you're just Brett. Um, you're just Brett with extra steps. Like, just drop the end. <laughs> <laughs> what about Bren? We love Info Bren. Yeah, or just go Bren. It's either Bren or Brett, but this Brent. Okay, wait. I, I want to retract that Brent's deli. That's like the only uh, Brent. Brent. do like Brent. Um, yeah. like oh, Brent, Brent Rockman, too. Okay, we take it back. We love Brent's. So Tyler approached Brent and his buddies while they were staying in the Stanley Hotel. It's the hotel from The Shining. And they were shooting a video in the hallway. Right in the door first. He walked outside and they were shooting a video right outside his room. This is totally all unprompted, all kind of unscripted, right? Yeah. Paranormal situation. What's this? What is happening? Did you get cranking? Who? Josie. Who are you people? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Brent? Last name? Okay. Famous YouTuber and ex Vine star. Do you want a date? Or no? This was completely random that we both happened to be filming a video here right outside our two hotel rooms. What is your name? I'm Dom. Name? Drew. What are you guys filming? Uh, hotel video. What is this? Really? Seen this? Yeah. You planned this, didn't you? No. For yourself, so, right? No. Well, who are you guys? So, is he really trying to act like this is real? Like he's just walking around and people... Like he's not in on it, yep. Oh my god. That's, that's what makes this... so embarrassing. That's what makes this video kind of magic. It's like what happens when two of these Mr. Beast type creators happen to be in the same place Is he a Mr. Beast time. guy? Yeah. He, yeah, he's, he, he does a lot of videos like that. Interesting. Yes. Are you guys hired by the Brent Rivera group? Maybe. Okay, anyways, this is weird. We caught everyone off guard, apparently. But they caught us off guard. They almost shit our pants. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it. Because we all know his videos are fake, and he steals everyone's ideas. Oh, uh, this, this. Hey, that's the dude who called me ugly. Such a small world. 
So yeah, here's where I saw it. <laughs> they almost our pants. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it because we all know his videos are fake and he steals. This is the dude. That's him. Hey, H3, take off the mask. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. Hey, take off the mask, you ugly fuck. <laughs> How dare you, bro? I'll have you know that I'm very insecure about my looks. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. What's wrong, Shredder? Are you hungry? Hold on one sec. Shredder's um, crying. You know, when Ethan mentioned Jimmy Lee potentially making a, a joke, an insensitive joke about weight. I just happened to look it up on Reddit to see if I found anything. And first result I found is Jimmy saying, hey, who let the air out of your titties? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That is so mean. That is so fucking mean. <laughs> it's so beyond Holy fucked up. Holy crap. I thought you were going to take a little longer, so I was just trying to fill the dead air. But yeah, who let the air out your titties? That is vile. That is just fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. Just to a random person on the street, no less. Yep. Yeah. That's our boy, Jimmy Lee. He's an outlaw for a reason. He's wanted for sexual harassment. <laughs> and, and 40 On the states. run. Yeah, he's on the run. Those are everyone's ideas. I have a question for you. Guys. Do you guys hire these people? We don't know who does these people. And unsurprisingly, they, they made a cameo in Brent's newest video. It's almost like they know each other. Do you have a question? Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Do you fake your videos? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's All right. settled. <laughs> have fun, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Clearly, Brent didn't find my question amusing, so I have walked back night. to my... To, to be totally fair, he is kind of being a dick. Yep. The main character yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was in that situation, I was trying to film a video, this would be really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I understand they're wrong. doing it in a public place in the hallway right outside his room, so that's also annoying. Mm -hmm. We have two annoying people clashing. Right. My hotel room and prepared to go on my tour of the hotel. So we go downstairs, only to find. Oh, God. Brent Rivera's right there. Hey, uh, go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers. Okay, so that there's where he that's lost. That's pretty Yeah, yeah you it. lost right there. That's. That is so, yeah. so embarrassing. Yeah. Five hundred subs you have to protect. No one gives a <laughs> fuck about you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Old-fashioned mad Bobby uh, energy. Old-fashioned yep. douche off right here. Yep. Like you're douche. so embarrassing, bro. You're you're already succeeded. You you you're doing so well. You really got to be like hundred sub loser. You're like a fucking bully from like a, a stupid. Unrealistic high school drama. Hey, what's up, hundred subs? <laughs> it's like, who are you? Well, that's like a that's like a twenty uh, first century high school bully. What's up, hundred subs, hundred followers? You know, <laughs> so stupid. What's up, it's idiot? So stupid. Um, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a modern day bully where it's like cast by uh, Timmy Shell. What's his name? Timothy Shell. He's the bully. Timmy Shell. Yeah, he's the bully. <laughs> but, uh, well, so it turns out this guy has almost 3 million subs, so he's about to get exposed with a capital X. About to expose you, baby. Mm-hmm. 100 subs. How many subs do you guys even have? It's kind of embarrassing that you guys are even here with me right now. <laughs> how many subs do you have, Dan? Uh, I don't, I don't have any. That's how embarrassing <laughs> it is. I know. I know. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we get that louder. You don't have, you have a directional mic on my camera? Hey, we're now we're they're making fun of his gear. Do you even have a directional mic? You guys are so stupid. This like, wouldn't this even is... been a video without that. Bro, you don't like... even have an Omni? Your cardioid gang? Oh, <laughs> Yo. you fucking loser, dude. What the fuck? I hear them fine, by the way. So uh, whatever He's mic right. they're using is good. Fine. Film in our thing, you yeah. film yours. Okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. not let's not be okay. That's reasonable. Let's not be disrespectful. Okay. Well, yeah. you know what's funny? He's the one that called him over. He's like, "Have fun with your hundred subs." And then he's like, "Hey, can you please stop bothering us?" I'm talking the iPhone. Though. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. What, what disrespect? I literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us, like enter our space? I've I've paid four hundred dollars a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, but yeah, if we were normal guests. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. What is normal that? Normal guests. You think Dude. you're? Wait, what'd she say? She's no him. 
Well, she said, why are you like coming into our space? And he said, I paid $400 to stay at this hotel. Well, he has a like, point because he's like, I was just walking down my hallway. Oh, in that sense, yeah. yeah but after like, that, I, I mean, I he seems here. to be like following them now, right? It's possible. What right. he said is he was heading back and then saw them. It's possible yeah, that's he's following fair. them. In that's fact, fair. it's probably likely. Let's be honest. That's he saw the them. vibe that I got is yeah. like now he sees that he has a video and he's going to follow them around. I, I, t I completely agree. That's probably what's happening. Although I don't know. That's not what he said. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Have fun, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Clearly, Brent didn't find my question amusing, so I walked back to my hotel room and prepared to go on my tour. We get that louder. So let, let, let's try to let's try to assess this. Let's try to see what this guy omitted, right? Because he he has he has definitely cut this up in a favorable way for him. So here he is. God, Farmer Ferris right there. Rewind, yeah. right. Okay, so so he's there filming them. Mm -hmm. He sees. Oh wait, it wasn't Brent who said it. It was someone else. Somebody in the that group. Yeah. God, Farmer Ferris okay. right there. So embarrassing. Yeah. Go out, go your his his mouth is not moving. We get that louder. Uh, you don't have, you have a direction light on my camera? Hey, we're we're filming, aren't we? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey, buddy, what is that on? Put that old camera away, you it loser. Is that thing even in 4K? <laughs> Put your 30 frames per second camera away, poor brokey. Thing, you yeah. film yours. Let's, yeah. Let's yeah. not. Let's not be. Okay, that's reasonable. Let's not be disrespectful. Okay. Well, yes. I mean, that's a that's a fair request from Brent. His friends are douchey. He just said, let's not be disrespectful. You're talking to the iPhone, though. I don't appreciate the disrespect. What, disrespect. what, what disrespect? I literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us, like, enter our space? I've, I've paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, if we were normal yeah. guests, that would be Whoa, whoa, whoa. The normal guest oh. thing's weird. Uh, I don't know what you meant by that. Normal Dude. guest? You think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being? You've ascended the back human being. Uh, wait, what are you? Wait, who are up. you? Guys, back up. No. Dude, get moving. Have fun, guys. We're not harassing. Uh, I mean, they might favorite. not be normal guests. They might have paid to shoot there. That's actually that would because is that an employee telling him to leave them alone? It looks like it could be, or it could be private security. But actually, if they did pay to have a shoot there, yeah, which it, is possible, right? Because I think they're on the Queen Mary. It looks like it, and like they were making a video that's like harassing. Like no, uh, they're at a hotel. Yeah, there's a hotel on the Queen Mary, and they're in the Colorado. Boat? They're in Colorado. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, the, oh, the, they're no, probably they're at the, 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 the they're Shining at the, Hotel. Yeah, they're yeah. at the Shining Hotel. Oh. They're at the Stanley Hotel. Okay. Well, regardless, to shoot there, you likely need permission. So. Well, there's two YouTubers here at the same time. It's clearly a place people are going. I don't know if it's a trendy topic, but so... Yeah, I don't know. YouTuber Brent Rivera totally doesn't fake his videos, and it's totally awesome. Hi. Why are you having trouble speaking? I'm nervous in front of my idols. What do you mean? Well, you can't even talk, loser. I know a dude who could cure autism. You should talk to him over at Nexium. <laughs> what do you got, Tourette's? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, yeah, They've transcended the average human. Wait, wait, unreasonable. Let me talk! <laughs> That's a good observation, Dan. That may have not been a douchey comment. Let me talk! God damn it! Hmm. This may not be going the direction I thought it would be. Engage in conversation with such a human. Dude, they were shit talking your mics. These are nice mics. So, anyways, we go on our silly uh, tour, finish, and go back to our rooms where we run into Brent and his goons once. So, his proof that he went on a tour was three photos. I think there's a chance he's been following them. Conversation with such a human. Dude, they were shit talking your mics. These are nice mics. So, anyways, we go on our silly uh, tour, finish, and go. Is this okay? Back to our rooms, where we run into Brent and his goons once again. Yo. Oh my god. We're staying on the same floor. That is pretty funny, where he's like, oh my god, this guy again. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, great tour. They probably We're think back. they are actually in The Shining. Which is right. <laughs> he's the fucking ghost, <laughs> yeah. in this case. You've always been here. 
Is it true you kissed your sister, Brent? I'm gonna do that. You're gonna get us kicked out? You're that powerful? I don't want to say that. Yes, he'll let us stay. That was nice. So I start walking to my room, grateful for Brent's mercy. Have Brent, is that you? It was him. They were all staring at us and filming us on, guess what? An iPhone. Bro, are you recording? This is kind of weird. It's so funny that this is the Shining Hotel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I do get the sneaking suspicion that this guy omitted a lot, though. Yeah. That this is very selectively edited. And trust me, I don't like Brent. Brent. He's a, he looks like a giant douche. He put out a response on TikTok. Oh, so I'm curious. I'm actually curious to hear his response. Yeah. Yeah, it's number eight. Okay, yeah. great. Yes? Did you guys film your video? You guys don't use iPhones? We can't afford a real camera. <laughs> what an experience. I met Brent Rivera. Did you guys finish your video? No. Oh, we're well, not going to be able to finish it then. What do you mean? I'm sorry. They're going to come and get, get you guys. They're going to kick you out. What do you mean? We paid $375, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not as rich as you, Brent. This is, your, this is the third time you harassing us. Don't harass Whoa, 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 whoa. You recorded me. I'm recording you because you guys are coming up to oh, okay. every single second. Of the, of the whoa, we walked in. We're on the same floor. Right, well, he's coming now. So, I mean, you guys are just going to have Influencer wars. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> oh, my God. I this love town phones. isn't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> this is really painful. One of us has got to go. I like how they're all standing there with their phones out like fucking lightsabers. <laughs> oh, God. One of us. <laughs> Listen. It's your move. Man, this hotel is not big enough for the two of us. When I count to three, you draw. I believe an individual citizen in this country has a right to own a nuclear warhead. <laughs> Just look at the guy behind you. It's like you. What do you mean? Who is that guy? Why? I have no clue. Listen, this is our personal space, and you're, you're recording inside. No, you close the door, then you open this, it. Okay, this is literally not your personal space. It's a hallway. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I, the, I love the thought of other people yeah, staying really? in that hotel, just hearing this out their fucking room and thinking that it is haunted, maybe. <laughs> Fuck. That is a, the spookiest haunting of all, two yeah. influencers. Yeah. You guys are literally outside of the No, room. no, we were on our way to the room. Roll the clip. All right. Is that you? Well, you guys have about like a minute to finish your video, and then you guys are probably gonna be on your way out of here. Brent, yeah. no! Brent, on my knees, please spare me, Brent. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Almighty God, Brent, spare me. I spent 375 on this video. Uh, so the interesting oh. part in the end. <laughs> He, he actually does get kicked out. They literally put it on a thumbnail on YouTube instead of true. Stupid shit. That's not stupid, that's on YouTube. I can literally pull up the thumbnail. Oh, anyways. This is harassing guys. Just because Wait, is that him? Is that his sister? Wait. What the hell? Little sister goes on 100 dates. That, I mean, it does look like she's about to be railed by 100 dudes. That's an insane thumbnail. Does little sister want to make love? Holy shit. <laughs> He's kind of right about that being yeah. crazy. Watch my sister get railed by a hundred dudes. <laughs> Bro. And then is this here? That's crazy. <laughs> is that her? No, that's not. That can't be her. Bro, what the hell? I need someone to do their job. Adult incest. You guys can stay on that side. We'll stay on this side. Easy. Compromise. After getting verbally bullied by Brent's ex-girlfriend who said this. Worst influencer in bed award goes to. Oh. I'm going to say Brent. Because he lacks experience. Security came to us and I'm said gonna... this. <laughs> um, can I propose a compromise? No. No. I guess this PD's on the way, so you haven't. They called the police. I mean, that's unfortunate. Uh, Brent, I swear to God. Yeah, so that, that, that's it. He, he, he. Go ahead. Everyone in this video fucking sucks. Like, that's the. This vibe. guy is so fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> fucking thing sucks. So let's see Brent's response because I'm actually curious what he had to say. Um, where's my mouse? Okay, here it is. Brent's TikTok. Brent. If you've recently saw- Come on, Brent. Tell us what really happened. A viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway. Well, one of those YouTubers was me. Things quickly get taken out of context, so here's the full picture. Also, this isn't me defending the things that I said, but more so giving you guys my perspective of what happened that night. So right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. And I'm not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. We were just minding our own- Wait, oh, he was Wait. gonna do a prank on someone. Okay, right. Yeah.
Not saying the ghost. Like, listen, for real. Uh, I mean, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> who cares if it's real? You just said some are fake. It's just who cares? Yeah, Making whatever. A video. I mean, yeah, yeah business of filming a video so this was really frustrating given the amount of time energy and money we put into these videos to make great content for you guys and as the night went on he continued to approach us with his camera saying awful things about me my friends and my sister to try and get a rise out of me for his video at a certain point if to be fair this is just the same scene he try and get a rise out of me for his video at a certain point it bubbled up so much that i did what he wanted i stooped down to his level and i said something that i should not have said later on it was him guess so saying it was him okay that's later on he okay so that's good that's good so he is a douche as douchey as i feared later on he came up Weird. Up and started filming again, this time while we were on a tour. His actions toward us They're and other tour. guests on the tour caused the hotel staff, not me, to call security. He was warned several times by the hotel staff to not only leave us, but other guests and hotel staff alone. And after several warnings, the hotel chose to call the police to get him escorted from the hotel. Anyways, Honestly, I, I am not that. proud of the way that I reacted at all, nor am I perfect. All I can do is be real with you guys and admit that I could have handled it by not saying anything and just yeah. walking away. Yeah, you said like the douchiest line of all, but yeah, I think that guy's a giant douche too. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg, actually. I was looking oh, into boy. this. If you scroll down, um, there was an update. There was a small, not a small, they have a quarter of a million subs uh, commentary channel that called him out, and then he false copyright strike them. And then a bunch of other uh, creators were calling him out for it. This one here? No, go further You know down. you've made it with a creator uh -oh. with a... Where's his update? Airstrikes. So a commentary channel named Dumpy made a video calling out Brent. Brent copyright striked his video. Oh, that's oh, bad. You're making bad Whenever I wear headphones, here. I feel like everyone... That's the bad. Dumped. That's the worst thing. Yeah. Who's yeah. calling me? Moist Critical and um, yeah, we... Mudahar and a few other people uh, commented on it, calling him out. Has this just happened? Uh, yeah, actually. Want, this, did you say uh, a 200 uh, subscriber for... channel, too? 250K, sorry. Strikes. Oh, yeah. That's Insta GG. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, that's but, yeah. douche status. Yeah. Douche well, status for life. Dumpy Twitter feed. I feel like there's, there's no one to feel bad about here. Like, they both got the content. I feel like they both made right. money out of this drama. And then, let's see, after being called out by other creators, like most current Ben apologized and donated $400 to Dumpy. Yeah. Why'd you give him 400 bucks? <laughs> that's an odd amount. Hey man, I saw your video and I let my YouTube rep know to retract all the copyright requests. I also let my team know not to copyright your vids moving forward. Bro, the, every time they go, oh, it was my team. It's mm -hmm. it, shut up. It was you. <laughs> I applaud you for grinding and putting in the work to make a career on YouTube. Nice. Keep it up, little buddy. Here's $400. <laughs> Here's a little taste. You should go get yourself a gumball, huh? <laughs> Go it, stay at the Overlook Hotel. <laughs> it's something a lot of people are scared to do, but you have proven otherwise. Like me, listen, it's not easy to achieve this level of success. I wish you all the success on YouTube in your career, bro. Hope we can resolve this. And then he actually donated it via YouTube. $400 <laughs> in the meantime, while the copyright request is being tracked, here's something to help. My resolution? Airstrikes. Okay, Brent. Dumpy is a hater. I, as I was watching his video, literally just hearing Tom his voice, Dark I'm like, exposed. he sounds like someone that would hate on Ethan, and immediately it popped up. Well, he's far from the only commentary channel. Dumps. It's just called H3H3. Let me just watch the first few seconds. I have a timestamp that I think is, a, if you just want oh, to Oh, no. Come on, bro. H3H3. H3. I'll give him credit. He does a good job with the vo the um, how do you say it? The focal range, so that he really obscures the fact that he's in like a closet in his fucking parents, mm -hmm. in his parents' room. You know, it's more than I can say for the some of the other dudes who are just straight up like sitting under hanging shirts. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, what does true. Dumpy say about me? He said Ethan is a wrinkly testicle that needs to be eliminated from society. Wow, okay. Over some really riveting footage. Is... 
the worst human alive. Oh, I don't like on. this person. This person really sucks. It's crazy how someone can go from being a respected person in the community that everyone likes and yeah. admires for making crazy. original, great, creative content. I don't know what the stolen from Dude, Frank thing is. That's still going on, huh? I was like, what are you saying? 11 months ago? Golly. It's been explained. It's weird. So it's many times. And have I like the smallest amount of research. There's like a small group of all these commentary channels just circle jerk about like what he stole from Phil Deaver. I don't complain about you making thing, original you know, content. He's just like droning on over footage from a fucking video game. He seems young though. I'm like I don't want to go too hard on him. All right, fair enough. It's like the rite of passage. The 17 year old wannabe commentator channels. Yeah, he's the worst person alive. He should have fucking died in the Holocaust. <laughs> I wish Ethan's I, grandparents were killed, fucking killed in the Holocaust, so we wouldn't have to see his shitty videos. <laughs> Good points in his videos as well. From this big, nice place you want to be, to then being a washed up, wrinkly testicle. A very bitter, wrinkly testicle. A wrinkly <laughs> testicle that needs to be exterminated from fucking society. That's really not funny. Yikes. Or, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna hate it, I just think... Advice is not to that. That's a little much. I'm not. It's it's fine. I'm just giving you like friendly advice. Gooch like Brent, advises moms. I'm giving you Brent Riviera style advice. You know. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, hey kid. Next, I'm gonna donate. You should go donate them four hundred bucks. That's right. Hey, listen. Buy yourself something nice, kid. Listen, kid. It's not every day that someone tries to be a YouTuber like me. It ain't easy. I, I got two angles. Give me a break. <laughs> hey, kid. It ain't easy, but uh, somebody's <laughs> got to do it. What, Amy? I was just saying, I wonder if there's a template to make one of these H3 hate videos online. They all start with, I used to be a fan, and then proceed to say some bullshit. It is definitely a phenomenon. The falling fan phenomenon is very real. But this dude's like 17. How old could he have been when I made that? Like 13? Like, what are you even talking right. about, bro? You didn't, even, you didn't even know how to do arithmetic when I posted that fucking video. What do you, how do you have opinions about it? 16 is the age of consent. If only one of them would have went the other way like me, they might have got a job. Mm -hmm. Get a job, kid. Right. <laughs> you could have been a star killer, but I now... Get a job. <laughs> I feel a little bit personal with hits with uh, living out the parents with clothes in my back. Oh, um, true. It's kind of... Yikes. Painful, well, actually. okay. Fair enough. Um... <laughs> yeah, but love, you're not like racist or homophobic. I feel like that's part of the. You're not trying right. to do a podcast where you're like, "Hey guys, it's from Love Studios." You, <laughs> also, you, you're, you're not a you're not a pussy, love. You know? Thank you. Yeah, you like Moomin, you, dude. You're the man. Shout out Moomin. Moomin. Shout Moomin. out to Moomin. Moomin. You're the dude. fucking man, bro. Thanks, Doug. Shout out Moomin. Shout out. Love's a real one. Thanks. The elderly man. I'm kind of into this. The elderly man rant. I first found out about H3H3 Productions at the end of 2015, early 2016, somewhere around there. And what? that was around the point in time where I was first- like 10 years ago, almost. ...introduced to the oh, common no. Whatever. Terry community. I was watching shit like Great A Under A, Pyrocynical, um, Leafy is here, drama- Oh, what a shock. Drama alert. <laughs> yeah, alert. And the then I found one. H- That says it all, <laughs> As a, I'm Le shocked. As, a, as a child of Leafy's legacy, <laughs> we all stand on the shoulders of Leafy, uh, and I hate Ethan. I would say <coughs> you could just cut this. It's literally just Gokunaro's video condensed, I as always. So. It's so fun. Uh, literally even using some of the same titles. It's kind of fun, though, isn't it? I mm. like this stuff. Let me just watch a little more. We, we, yeah, we, <sighs> just a little bit more. Release us. Oh, it's Lisa's. late. It's late. Okay, okay. A little bit more. <laughs> three H three productions. I was watching his SoFlo Antonio videos, and yeah. I was like, "Damn, dude, this thirty year old guy. He's pretty hip. He's pretty fresh. Yes. He's pretty funny." And Love me the sitting there, eight years old, thought <laughs> this dude was pretty hip. <laughs> what, Ab? What is that? Oh, sorry. I'm. I, I sent in the wrong chat. Just give me a quick second. Sent good work. Keep it up. And it stayed that way for a few months. He made good shit. I can't lie. Like H3H3 was a great content creator. This guy was funny Thanks, as fuck. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. 
but now he sucks. Fuck. And um, then he made a video about Leafy. Oh, hey. no. My boy. Okay, I'm not. Betrayal. <laughs> Bro, this was, and also this was like eight years ago. Yeah, people don't forget. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Good luck, though, Dumpy. I, you know, you're following the formula. And, this uh, is like actually happening right now. It, it will serve you well. It will serve you well. Dumps. Oh, see, he's popping off right now. He messaged me. Oh, because of that. Why was that a picture of me there? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think I think it was a lag from the previous video. Sometimes YouTube shows like a little <laughs> bit of the previous video. Shadow hours frame. ago in a frenzy because i had a community guidelines warning my very first offense because of god damn it wait i just saw something sorry i know i saw it too I, i'm telling you it was i really hope this it was a, it was like a lag from the previous video oh yeah saying it it would be you know it'd be nice of you though if you like posed for a thumbnail because he's definitely gonna gonna make a video out of this if you want to help him out there's so many videos just use one of the ones of me like <laughs> acid like <laughs> yeah here <laughs> ethan ethan klein called me out h3 called me out he'll never be as fun as, as funny as leafy he's this crazy israeli clown comedian <laughs> no but no but legitimately he looks 16 so i i, I just don't understand he was like, six when he first yeah you were you. six bro no wonder you were a fan of leafy i get it the situation does not progress if it does i will be making an update video letting you guys know what's going on that was me ay, ay, ay. Good, oh. good luck bro i really do mean it um he's 20 oh yeah yeah you should know better by now. Damn, he's been riding for Riviera. What the fuck? How many Riv Brent Riviera videos has he made? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a... Okay. Good for you, bro. Yeah, it's kind of blowing him up. Like I said, Critical made a video about it. Mudahar and a few other people. Oh, okay. Well, Brent Rivera is, is trying to delete his channel. That's a title I would have used previously. Yeah, video. definitely. Anyway, shout out to the king. Dumpy. We love Dumpy. He used to be a fan, and we could, we'll could we always have that. Yeah. Smile because Just it happened. Remem remember Paris, as they said in yeah. Casablanca. If only you hadn't... Stolen that Fupa fun money and uh, what else? Filthy Frank. If you didn't bully, uh, stole stole <laughs> from Filthy Frank and uh, if you didn't bully that? that poor old man Jimmy Lee, let oh him yeah, make his if, jokes if, about that. Really, era. Jimmy Lee? Have we thought about Jimmy Lee's yeah. feelings? Like, so what? He told some random girl that, hey, who let the air out your titties? That's so funny <laughs> that that was like one of the top talking points of like why Ethan sucks back uh -huh. then. Uh -huh. Knowing what we like, how the Jimmy Lee thing has played out over the last two years. Oh yeah. I like, remember there was lots of comments about like I was felt so bad for that poor man. How <laughs> <laughs> times have changed. <laughs> yeah, but even then, me and Jimmy were on the same term. We were, yeah, it was never a problem. Yeah, but we, it's just funny. Yeah. Me and Jimmy go way back, and we've been making co content since I lived in New York. Right. <laughs> we're old friends like that. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We had a lot of fun here, didn't we, folks? We did. We talked to Eddie. We talked to shirtless Eddie. That was an all-timer conversation. We burned the bridge with um, Billy D. Mm. I wouldn't say burned. No, I'm just kidding. We, just, we made peace. I just, uh, we, uh, I'm we, just kidding. We love him. He's perfect the way he is. So I can still wear his merch. It won't be weird. He, yeah, of course. Okay. He's perfect the way he is, or will ever be, or ever was. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's God, basically. He's a perfect being, a sphere of perfect all right, energy. All right. <laughs> Philly, Philly D is like uh, uh, a sphere of perfect energy. Start which the music. Light back. cannot enter or escape. Start the music. Yep. And there. Yep. <laughs> All right, you can kill it.